Hello, hello. Welcome back into Blood Bowl 3 Season Finals. You join us once more for the last time here as we welcome in our last match in this Grand Finals Best of 3. It's currently 1-1, but who will be the victor? Will it be Diomed or will it be his opponent, Strider? I mean, fellas, let's just recap as well here for a second before we go into this one. Obviously, it's been an amazing couple of weekends. We started with 16. We've seen Diomed kind of like rock along the uh, kind of the winner's bracket. Uh, Strider's had to come down after that kind of like winner's bracket final. But they go straight back up again to meet the grand finals. Um, they both had a fantastic kind of couple of weekends. But now it's down to 1v1. I mean, Diomed is currently currently 2-1 to a degree in the in the series. Uh, Andy, what is going to unfold? Tell us. You are think of think of this as like kind of like a kind of a mystic meg moment. Okay, you're looking into the crystal ball. What do you think is going to happen? What do you see happening in this final game? So, looking at the evidence, let's use some data. Let's use some facts. Diomed has won two out of three engagements with Strider. Like Let's not delve into why, but he's won two out of three. I think, therefore, that Diomed is the favorite. He's gone through all the way through in the grand final. He's played less games. He's going to be fresher. I'm going with Diomed. Okay. Well, Jimster. If you think about the why, Diomed has crushed Strider on Strider's offense. So maybe Strider will just bang it in, quick score in two, and then get on defense because Strider has crushed Diomed when Strider's mm. been on defense. So I wonder if we'll see a tactical switch up from Strider. Interesting, interesting. It's, I mean, right, I mean, ultimately, we we can't call this to a degree. It, 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 I think a lot of it relies on 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 the toss, who kind of starts off proceedings, who's offensive. I mean, I think you're right. The the orcs just seem to have always found a way to prevent the lizard. We know how strong the lizards are. Um, I kind of I don't know. What's, I mean, what do you guys think? What do you guys think is going to happen? Let us know in the chat. I mean, this is it. We're, we're all kind of here, hoping and praying this is going to go well for one of them. But end of the day, they but one they both walk with at least a thousand. Big ones here. I think 2,000 up for grabs and 1,300 for second place. So whatever happens, um, it's a win. Plus, I, th I think this is a, a win in general. The last two weekends, season finals have been a win. Absolutely. Do you know why you're actually here? Right? We all thought it was present. No, it's not. You're actually here to tell us to split. You're the third judge. Who is going to win? You've been watching for two weeks. Okay. What do you think? <clears throat> okay. Okay. Who do I think is going to win? I have a... I feel like the way in which the, the momentum is going right now... I think Diomed. Yeah, yeah, there I, we I, go. I think, I think. Nice one, buddy. <laughs> sorry. There sorry. we go. Uh, whatever Jimmy says, I'll just say the opposite, basically. Exactly. That's yeah, the, that, I thought, I thought, that, that was, was the really easiest easy. way to do this. Um, but I think, uh, I think momentum. I think we saw kind of like the original victory in the kind of winner's bracket. Now we've got this too. I mean, what do you guys think? Let us know in the chat here. But um, it's going to be interesting, whatever happens. Um, we're in for a ride here, folks. We're in for a, a thrill ride. This is the last match we are going to see on season finals. Okay, this is the last one. So make sure to have the energy and that hype, the electricity in the chat as much as possible. We've loved seeing what we've seen thus far. We've had a lot of laughs here as well, boys. <laughs> a lot of laughs. It's been great times. Uh, we are just waiting right now, though, for our last player to connect before we jump into the matchup here. Um, takeaways from this weekend. I mean, we talked about the, we saw the roadmap earlier on. Talked to VTOC as well. Um, exciting times for for the Blood Bowl community in general, Andy. Yeah, I, th I think so. I think the fact that yeah, the biggest thing for me is VTOC announced we're going to do another one in 12 months' time, right? So for anyone who's thinking, oh, Blood Bowl, it's fading away. Absolutely not. They're going to do another one of these in 12 months. He then explained a little bit about how we might get to that, and there's going to be loads of different ways of qualifying. So if you're you know, watching this at home thinking, I, I could I could get into a last 16 or a last 64, you literally will be able to with multiple different ways. That, for me, is also exciting because it now makes it deeper for everybody. That's wow. true. That's true. Wow. Big wow. Yeah, and the, the ladder playoffs, you know, we had that every season, the Chalice in Blood Bowl 2. Great to see that that's coming back as well. So, yeah, just great, great, great times for Blood Bowl. Yeah. I don't think we'll go to New Zealand. I think that just putting out that Andy's <laughs> suggestion of that earlier one was a little bit far-fetched. Hey, mine with a, a, an arena live like audience, maybe a little bit far-fetched, but still, it's going to be magnificent, whatever happens. I, I think he, he he said yes to the deal. Was there a confirmation? Yeah, confirmed unconfirmed, it, yeah. massively yeah. unconfirmed. <laughs> or that? <or, laughs> no, 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 no. That sounds, that sounds wild. Uh, but yeah. um, we are connecting right now. Whatever happens, I think we can all agree this has been a massive celebration of the game and the future of it too. And you guys at home as well, the community as well, who've been so welcoming to me, um, have been championing the players. Everyone's been absolutely brilliant. So we've, uh, yeah. we've loved every single second of this. Uh, I say we dive into it. Let's dive into the very last game in our season finals who will be our champion let's find out diamed or strider get it in the chat for now let's dive on into the action and get things underway let's kick off proceedings here uh this is going to be absolutely unforgettable i have no doubt andy jimmy let's jump on him 
yeah, amazingly Strider won the toss again and again chose to receive. I think he should have maybe chose to kick. You know, he's been so strong on defense. Diamond's been so strong on defense. Maybe just, just start on defense, defend with 11 players and get the job done. I, I really like the idea that Strider goes and just bangs this in like mid half, early half. I don't care. Just just yeah. get it done, yeah. and uh, and then then you can justify this this choice because then you're defending in the second half where your re rolls in overtime and all that. Yeah, you know, all the stuff we've talked about. Yeah. But but you've got to convert this defense, uh, this offense. You've yeah. got to. His offense has not worked in any of the games. No. <laughs> Even though he's won one of them, uh, you know, and he was close in the others. Like he yeah. could have, he could have won every game they've played so far. You know, he could have won the winners bracket final, and then he could have won the final two nil. But, you know, he's ended up losing two of them. And and but the one consistent thing is his offense failed continuously. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I think just bang it in early. Yep. He's not going to get a chance to catch this. No. Nope. Well, maybe on a bounce. <laughs> Brilliant coaching for Strider. Oh, that's huge, right? Three rerolls makes oh, his offense wow. a lot more consistent. Oh, he's fine now. He's yeah, fine. Maybe, maybe. <clears throat> it's a huge difference, though, for sure. Uh, are we going to get a, uh, a prediction in chat from from those over in the corner? Do you think we could we could get that up? See who's going to win. Um, I'd like that. Yeah, I think I think we need yeah. that. You know, yeah, I think we need that. No doubt, it's going to be like 50-50 all over again. <laughs> I mean, it's going to be 50-50 at this point. I think it, it has to be. Yeah. yeah. Pretty close to call. I I I, I think that reroll hugely could depend, uh, um, yeah, make a big difference here, especially yeah. especially if you can pick the ball up. I mean, it's seventy TV, isn't it? Essentially, yeah, uh, which which is like massive and just adds all the consistency in the world. Huge, huge yeah. bonus for Stride. I I would like to see him just took that skink in because the tackle blitzer is on the corner there. Yeah, uh, just took that in. Yeah, but maybe he doesn't want to, right? Because he, he, we've already seen Diamond take that tackle blitz uh, early in the game. Maybe he's okay with taking that tackle blitz. You know, it, positionally, it's suspect, isn't it? Yeah, it is, okay, yeah. It might, it might do good damage, but, you know, taking him out of the line, now he gets blitzed by Asaurus and he's isolated for the entire drive. How do you yeah. rescue him, you know? Like, do you pile yeah. in the biggins to protect him? Uh, tricky. Oh, he saved the reroll. Huge. I mean, this is really huge. Well, because if that had been a fail pickup, that could have easily been a fail pickup that he had to put a reroll in to. Like he would have had to reroll it probably, yeah. and he could have been down to one reroll. But instead, he makes the pickup, has the uh, extra one, and yeah, three rerolls, ball secured, skink screened, super strong position for Strider. But will he come undone by his strategy again? You know. Hmm. Oh. Oh. Crocs blitz. Does not pay off. It's, it's a bit of a. I think there's a trap actually to go in here. I don't. I don't. I was like, oh, we'll go in. Well, <laughs> no, yeah, and no, we won't. No, we will not do that. No, oh, no. Mighty blow blitz, Saurus, and yes. feel good about yourself. <laughs> yes. I think that's the play. Again, the, the throw on defense. Very optimistic, isn't it? Yeah, that, that's a that's a ladder play. I think. Like I'm. Oh, I'm just better than everyone else. I'll I'll, <laughs> I'll use the thrower. Of course I will. Yeah. Yeah, I think it really is. It's it's so optimistic that, you know, mm. if if I if I knock over the ball carrier, I'll have a guy who's a bit better at picking it up. And it also leaves yourself open to be diced a little bit, right? If if he gets mm. removed. Yep. That's the thing that I've been most critical of, Diamond, I think. You know, and he's he's played great, he's made loads of great <laughs> plays, he's been consistent, but that just that's just such a big point of failure. Like Almost a single point of failure for the team. Yeah. So for me, for me here, I I want to see I want to see Strider not just sit in the middle, which is what I'm sure he'll do. But I'd go. Let's go and take that space in the right flank. Let's go and bend the orcs around a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> it's like making them dance, isn't it? <laughs> do a little dance. That's it. That's, that's <laughs> you all just throw yourself in there. Yeah, I, Good I idea. realized, like, <laughs> Good idea. this isn't my stream. Yeah. Maybe, I should, maybe I should be a little more conservative. Okay, right. Who takes the win? Straw Poll has been out there. Community have voted. Where do you think Where do you think their uh, their feelings lie? Who do you think they're kind of vibing is the, is the more likely to win this, lads? Diamed. 60 Stride. 60-40. It's... Not too far away. It's, it's ever-changing, actually. The votes are still coming in thick and fast. And we're currently at 
Diamed 56, Strider 50, uh, 44. Yeah, 55 to 40. Yeah, 55, 45. I so we are really close. Yeah. You almost sound like you're going to get an American election result there. It was like, it's 55, 55. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> huh? <laughs> yeah. I think 55-45 is, is it's it's not going to be much more than that, right? It's really close. Yeah. The, the one thing is the Strider is the Croxico block. I, I I guess actually, although I picked Strider again, I that that Croxico block, Croxico block was so weird. Like I wonder if his his you know if he's gone a little bit. You know, if the, this is the fourth game in a row for him. Mm -hmm. it's, it's tough. I mean, that was a really weird block. I I love this lizard setup. Look at this. Yeah. Like I can go anywhere with this, and I just want to press end turn twice, <laughs> and 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 suddenly, the orcs have done no penetration at all, and we're yeah, we're, I love it. Yep. Yeah, he's just gonna mighty blow blitz. I think you've got to do something if the orcs. I I, I don't I don't I I think this is fine. This is fine. Oh. And I, I trust that Diamond will do the right thing. I mean, Diamond's defense is incredible. Go. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Something. Okay. I like that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You had to put the guard in there. Make the had corner. To. Yeah, make the L shape. Because otherwise, it's just way too easy to blitz this guy and then chain off the other guard and punch the mighty blow. Yep. So he had to protect that corner. Nice. that are bookie accepting bets. Absolutely not. We don't endorse full gambling here. <clears throat> oh, so dodges off, does not die. Great result. <laughs> yeah, dog to the dog. Yeah, they've, done, they've both done amazing defense. Amazing defense. Oh, chain, chain. Nice. Yep, in for, a, in for an additional mighty blow hit from the Crocs. Nice. Love to see these kind of plays. Like, th there's no cost, right? Sometimes you you know you can set these kind of things up where it takes you a bit out of position, you know, and it looks fancy. But this this is basically costing not costing much. The bad thing is, the good thing is he's got three re rolls, because the bad thing is if he one in nines here, right, he's in danger of getting surfed. Yeah. So uh, that the only downside to this blitz is the one in nine chance. But with a third re roll, very small risk. I mean, you can re roll it if it is. And it Boom. Is. And he can retreat, retreat yeah. to a. Ooh, not no, I guess he can't retreat. He's got to push forward. Just stays where he is. <laughs> okay, That's, this is okay, isn't it? He, he crocs blocks didn't work, but good play. Yep. It's a shame about the lizard on the. Uh, that's going to get eat a mighty blow hit. That's a shame. Yeah, maybe Puff. he just maybe he just dodges. Yeah, the floor Cheeky doesn't come with mighty blow. Cheeky five plus and potential big payoff. Yep. Yeah, he's got a nice screen there. Mm. I don't think there's any chain pushing shenanigans on anywhere, is there? No. Yep. No. I'm not seeing it. Not in game four. <laughs> no, no, they, this is more and more like basic, right, fundamentals is, is the, the brain's going to be a little bit fried now. Strider more than Diamond, mm. but Strider's brain's going to be a little bit fried, almost back-to-back -back four games, high intensity, top-level Blood Bowl. It, it, it's taking its toll on Strider now, I'm sure. And that, I mean, he's still playing good, right? Made good shapes, as you said, the previous turn and stuff. Did that little nice little chain and get an extra hit, but... Yeah, it'll be running almost on empty. Mm. Yep. <clears throat> Got to hit the mighty blow hit here. Like, just has to do this hit. I don't know where the blitz is coming. And he does want to try and pressure the uh, skinks if possible. Okay, wow, he's not doing the Why? mighty blow hit there. So. So where is the mighty blow being deployed? That's yeah. the that's the weird question then. Yeah. I mean, not against a skink. So where's he see? Where's he seen a blitz that he likes more than that? We're about to find out. <laughs> yeah.
nowhere. Okay. Oh, the skink. He's blitzing the skink with this blitz. Ah, uh, right. Yeah. Oh, is this a lineman? Yeah, that's a lineman. So, yeah, it's this blitz. It's, it's the blitz of the line down, yeah. Okay, no. <laughs> Mr. Throw is blitzing. Oh, and this is going to give him two dice with the big one on the crocs. So he's, he's actually, what he's trying to do here, I guess, is is just create no contact that he doesn't feel like he's automatically winning. Yeah. Which is fair enough. Yeah. Getting good stuff from Diamond on defense, isn't it? Mm. Nice plays. Oh, that's smart as well. Nice. Really nice. Yep. Yeah, and this is where Strider's offense, like, he's just struggling. Like, yeah. this is, again, Strider struggling on offense. Yeah. I mean, three guards together there is just shutting down these three Saurus. Yeah. And then, you know, we're getting the... Like, this Oof. is the great trade. This is the trade that you have to make as... Oh, wow. Um, gets him, though, doesn't he? Oh, no, it doesn't. It, I, was, I was highlighting the big one. <laughs> he wasn't hitting the big one. I thought he was hitting the big one for a second. Um... So yeah, this is the this is the trade that you need is the big ones on the Saurus, and then your blitzers can hunt the skinks. Like that, that's actively what you want as uh, yep. as orcs. And now when your big ones have guard as well, they completely dominate that matchup that you're looking for. So when it works, it really works, and you need it to really work because you know you're in trouble. Yeah, I'd, I'd, this is like we were talking about strategy going getting it done a little bit earlier. Like he sat and held, and it's just not worked. And he sat and and now it's. It's like he's just being slowly constricted. It's not one individual thing. You go, ah, that's what's caused this. It's a, it's a combination of small individual choices. It's like an uh, accumulation, isn't it? That's the thing. It's uh, yeah. There's so many like micro decisions in a, in a game of Blood Bowl, and they just all add up. Cumulative, that's it. The cumulative effect of, of all the previous decisions and dice rolls. Yeah. So let's try to choosing again, saying, no, I'm going to solve this. I'm not ready to go. Yep. Gets the 1D, the big 1D. This gives him 2D with a skink if he follows, I think. 2, 3, 4, 5. Yeah, it does. Yeah. <laughs> That's amazing. Outrageous. Big and getting smashed to bits by a skink. Love to see it. Skinks are the ones that have been doing the damage for Strider. Mm, but it leaves, leaves him really exposed over here. Yeah. And it also lets him like block diagonally here, so he so gets to push in a bit, as well as getting around. Yeah, I think he'll tackle Blitz the skink against the edge, and I think he'll take those blocks. In what order, I'm not sure, but I think that's what we'll see. It's a bit, a bit risky, isn't it? I'm, like, you know, you're putting yourself at risk from getting surfed by all of these uh, Saurus, but... No, no, it's a tackle Blitz that runs around the, against, from the sideline, just hits the skink. Um, I think you can... Put some pressure in here. No, we've seen that when when Diomed backs off Strider and gives Strider just a turn to regroup, it's gone wrong for him. Okay, so he's, he's done that here. That's interesting. That I think that I think that helps the tackle bits. Yeah, quite a bit. Yeah, I think so. can get a guard big in in front of the other guard big if he once he's finished his chain blocking and I could do with getting that lineman against chameleon skink just to try and stop the sideways movement because Strider's probably going to want to try and come sideways yeah yeah that's the standard thing for lizard men isn't it going side to side movement eight skinks is ridiculous movement six saurus is obviously busted oh. gets the pow and the AV break no, only stunned. No removal. But he used Mighty Blow to break armor. Yeah, yeah, went for the greedy went for the greedy Mighty Blow hit rather than the safer tackle hit. But also it lets him retreat better, right? The 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 tackle mm. one, two, three, four, five, six, right? He's he's in trouble. I, uh, that was the problem with the tackle. It's safer play, yeah. Yeah, I like I like the Mighty Blow bits more. Now, do you, do, you, I mean, do you block with a lineman here and give yourself both both big ones to do something with? Um, or do you block with the big one and just have one to roam around? 
linemen ju just because then I can I can eat the one in nine a lot happier. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. It do, it does collapse the side more if if you fail. Like you lose less positionally by this player going down, but it's it's so so much better of a player that I think I would uh, I'd rather risk the worst player knowing that I'm not going to re-roll. Yeah, that's very reasonable. <clears throat> now, this frees him up to one, two, three, four, five, GFI and face the skink. No, he's not going to do that. He's just going to come around and threaten, which is, you know, more sensible. Yeah. There's a section of chat saying that the culture didn't play well. I, I don't know if you, like... If that's the way I would describe it, I mean, maybe you guys were watching a different set of games to me, but didn't play well is, is, is pretty direct. I think played with a lot of variance and pushed it, pushed it pretty hard. Well, um, only sometimes it was just, well, it was, yeah. it was, it was, <laughs> he probably plays, you know, I, the way he played, is, I think, is what optimal Blood Bowl play would look like, right? You'd have turns where you would play safer than Elliot, and then turns where you would play, like, insane, insanely, like, absurd Risky. lines yep. that would start with, like, you know, try to roll a 5+. plus. I think that's what, like, an AI would do, right? It would just, it would just see these kind of crazy plays, go for the crazy plays sometimes. Now, for a human to, to nail those every time very difficult and and you know that's why the default assumption is play safe and and the people you know like Cruz has won loads of loads and loads of uh, Blood Bowl 2 uh, tournaments Elliot's qualified loads of times so they're they're the two like more of this uh, art really good fundamentals really good autopilot and he so he had the best like win rate mm -hmm. Cruz won the most tournaments Elliot qualified the most and those three are three of the mo most safe players so yeah. you know and then but you know look in Arian mm -hmm. makes thrilling players same with Crystal Crystal Hunter, so it's not wrong to play like Inari and Crystal Hunter. They're both great players. We saw Inari do fantastically well in this tournament. Um, and, you know, played a lot of conventional games with his, his Blackhawks as well. It doesn't mean that they, they, don't, they, you know, they don't know how to play safe. So I, I think, you know, just, just because sometimes people choose to play, you know, high risk, high reward, it, then, then that's not bad play at all. And in, and in fact, especially with humans, especially with humans, playing high risk, high reward is often going to be correct. Yeah. But the problem is just nailing it hundred percent of the time that's very 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 difficult and i would say you know impossible for a human right it's just yeah. it, it's you, you're not going to nail it so therefore it's just easier to play safe basically yeah what's the map score it's 1-1 one, one, hendy this is game four for today the very final game from the finals and it is tied up 1-1 one, one. strider took the first one and diamed took the second one mm -hmm. And suddenly, Strider's position, just because he just pushed everyone off him, looks all right, doesn't it? I, he might struggle. To, he's got to make some forward move, movement next turn. So if Diamed just locks up this this side area, that, that makes it, that makes things a bit more exciting. He's going to base the ball as well, so it, it draws the blitz. Yeah, and I it like means that. that there can't be forward progress for Strider. Yeah, I like that a lot. I mean, Diamed's really got Strider's number on on, on defense, hasn't he? Yeah, it's, it's unbelievable. And, you know, by the same token, of course, Strider's, you know, Strider's done really good on Diamond's drives, but I think that is easier with, with Lizards to play on defense than it is Orcs. So I am, I am more impressed by Diamond, but it's, it's, not a, it's not a slight against uh, Strider by any means. Yeah, he needs... I'd like to see Elf Columns here from Orcs. Ugh. But yeah. it, it's the right play. Well, the thing is, you, you really want to put in this lineman here to get a 2D and a 2D, right? right? Yeah. You want, you want to 2D them both. You don't just want to, like, uh, you know, 2D here and then 1D or anything here. So you really want the lineman there. And that means you want the tackle here. So that will have throw this, this little bit weak, yeah. Yeah. So it's, that's a it's bit tricky. tricky. Yeah, yeah, it's really <laughs> tricky. The only, the only sort of halfway house would be that the tackle blitz that goes and stands in there because... I don't think you can commit the tackle. That's the problem. Like that's the big problem, isn't it? I don't think you can commit the tackle. Could the, could the, the line orc go and stand where you were suggesting? The tackler go and stand where the line orc is, and the guard big and go make one to the dodge. left. Yeah, and make then, this dodge, and then you can make it completely safe by making that dodge. Yeah. I mean, I think you throw a reroll at this if it if it doesn't work. Oh, you throw a reroll at that. Yeah, you kind of have to. Yeah. Not a fan of following this at all. No, no. Don't, don't give free mighty blow hits on your, on your players, even if they're armor nine. 
Yeah, now make the dodge. And I, I, I'm putting a reroll into that as well. That's how. Wow. That tackle blitz is misplaced. Look, missed. Well, he had uh, a, he had a halfway house in case he didn't in case yeah. he didn't make the dodge. So it does enough. So, you know, he's, it, yeah. he's making a screen with the, with the lineman here, so that if the Mister Throw goes down, it there's still a screen, not not a strong screen, but still a screen. Yeah, it's all interlocking, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's still pretty good. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm not sure how he's going to solve this actually. Yes, and actually, we've got to, he's got to, he's got to spend the blitz on the ball pretty much. So <laughs> yes. I'm thinking about how to attack using the blitz. Uh, no, he blitzes at home. You, you've got to. It's turn six. So yeah. you really don't want to. <laughs> yeah. So maybe he does. Uh, maybe he does just blitz the Mister Throw, and then leave the you know the Saurus on the tackler. Uh, Crocs can go in here or something and then, you know, dodge through with the skinks, but it's, it's not good. It's not good for Strider. <laughs> no. I'm not sure he's going to dig his way out of this. So but step one is centralised, isn't it? Because at the moment he's only got two options. Left, centre. Get into the centre, open up all three choices, and, and then, then we'll go from there. Yeah. So, yeah, he, he does do the safe, the safe move of blitzing. The lineman, but I mean, great, great for Dimer that he's getting a, a lineman who was behind the ball blitzed on turn six. Like, incredible. Yeah. So attr attrition-wise and positional-wise, it was a great blitz for Dimer. Yeah. Ooh, six interesting. Hmm. So he's committing. The danger here of the Liz is if you commit like this, sometimes the Orcs can find enough. They've got enough muscle that you can get punished. Yeah, I mean that—that that is the matchup you want, you know. Like Saurus getting stuck on Blitzers is—is is, you know, well, or rather, Blitzers getting stuck on Saurus is really bad for for the Orcs. Yeah, you want your Blitzers free to roam, and then your your Biggins getting stuck on Saurus. He's not centralizing. He's not. No. That last move confirms he's not—he's not moving the ball. Oh, he's trying. He's trying the handoff option. Gets him. So that's now dictating where Diomed's blitz needs to be. Yeah. Or is it he could still go for this lineman blitz and tag the ball? And then he could oh, just they, put the tackle on there or something? It's, it's like playing poker, this, right? I'll raise you, you're blitzing here. And they're like, no, I shall raise you and you shall blitz me here. And I shall I shall not, sir. <laughs> poker sounds very gentlemanly in your world. <laughs> I shall not, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I, Royal flush, sir. Yeah, yes, I have indeed. Yeah. Are you all in? Yeah, oh, yes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think Andy understands poker. <laughs> He's comparing poker to croquet. That kind of gentlemanly comes. I, I appreciate it, but. Like it. I like it a lot. So yeah, like look, tack tackle blitz is obvious, right? But that that's kind of what Strider wants him to do. But then, you know, on the other hand, is he going to get any of anything else going? You know, he's 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 foregone this blitz. I quite like this blitz, you know, tag. But then mm -hmm. you've got the scoot away. But if you can blitz tag and then make this strong, then you, but I guess you've still got the uh, run away to hand off. Pretty tricky. I wonder. I wonder what he's going to do. Well, you can solve the sauruses by just putting that line orc in and then blocking and following and blocking and following. So that that's all fine. But then that puts it that puts a lineman behind the ball again, which is the last thing you want. Yeah. So th this lineman could be like just basing that skink, right? And then just do one D's or don't hit here. I think I'd rather do. Because if, if you do a one D on the first one, you get a two D on the second, don't you? Either way, yeah. if it's a push, three plus. So he's, oh. got, he's gone for the Saurus Blitz. And I guess a. Uh, Pretty strong screen. Yeah. So now we know that lizards have got to go through the middle. That that does actually help you quite a lot, doesn't it? Yeah. So is this lineman up here? That might not be enough. Tackler here. Yeah, because the crocs, because the crocs is going to be able to punch. Potentially, you've got. It's like having two blitzes, isn't it? You got block one, blitz one. You can get through two things. This is. 
So you kind of got to do this one day. I think you've, you've got, got to have the, the, the lineman yeah. up about here. Yeah. Maybe just up one, and then this one D for a three plus. Then that gives you the two D, and then that that you know puts a guard on the crocs, which makes yeah. takes away the crocs hit. Yeah, yeah. Because the crocs hit is the solve at the moment, which already is decent for the orcs, right? M making somebody use their crocs a go. So, okay, he's taking him away to stand there. Ooh. Oh. Gets the three plus. It's like watching fireworks. Oh, a Catherine hey. wheel. <laughs> <laughs> or a Catherine wheel. <laughs> uh, a Roman candle. That was one too, a Roman candle. That yeah, was one. Yeah. They're just disappointing, aren't they? <laughs> uh, was Not it a like fan a, of fireworks, are you, Andy? <laughs> the last one you were disappointed by a Catherine wheel. <laughs> I just like, oh, is that all you got? Do you like bangers? Absolutely. <laughs> Wasn't wow. that a Roman candle like a, just a sparkler in the sky? Yeah, no, in, in the ground. You're not oh, allowed to go near them. They're like giant sparklers. Oh, they just go like big sticks. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that's th there. You go. <laughs> oh, you yeah. could use that chat could, as a sound effect if you'd like to for your streams. <laughs> if you ever want some kind of firework, you uh, got it. Uh, a psh stream. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Uh, why? Are, but why? Why are those two things, Catherine and Roman candles, the most famous kind of like fireworks we talk about? Rockets aside. Cause, cause name, go on, name me one rocket, any rocket. Can you? Can I can't name it a rocket type, right? Uh, Saturn V, but that's not a firework. Saturn V. <laughs> yeah. What was uh, that's actual rocket? Yeah, it's actual rocket. Yeah, I'm trying to find out if it is. Ah, any... Ronnie O'Sullivan, well done, cheeky Jimmy. Hey, this is uh, this is not easy, is it? Ars is putting. It's only one D, so he's going to do his own one he's D. Gonna, he's going to two D, I think, here with a with a, a scorus, and then, yeah. Oh, that's got to be a pal. I'd re-roll yeah. that. Would I? I I preferred the one D from the the one D from this guy. I preferred. Yeah. I mean, this is not good enough, but I guess. At least he's not getting turned over this drive. <laughs> and he's good on defense, right? He could actually still yeah. win this 1-0. He's still got all his players. Yeah. Um, we haven't lost anyone, have we? Nope. Nope. Still full 11. Um, <gasps> Diamond used his apple. OMG. Oh, oh my God. He got the loner. He got the loner. He was storing the loner power. That's why he didn't uh, re-roll it in the, first, in the second game. Wow. Where's the ball going that's not going to get instantly smashed by tackle? I've got no idea. <laughs> well, like, not tackle. He's not getting hit by tackle. The tackle's taken out, right? But he's getting what? hit by block. Inorian says he's scoring this turn. I mean, it's not in, It's not absolutely crazy. No. Four plus, three plus? Um, three, two, two, four, three. Is there something in front of the crocs? That looks like there's like a... Yeah, yeah, there is, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, he yeah. had to do this dodge. Yeah. So he has he's, to go again at least. Dodge. Double yeah. GFI. I think he might... Oh, he hasn't done the handoff action. He has not done the handoff action. So he's not scoring this turn. Yeah. Now, whether he wanted to or not is a different question, but he's definitely not. By the way, all, chat, we're very good at naming different rockets, but not one of them was an actual firework. <laughs> right, <laughs> so, 600 people can't name a firework. I don't think there are that many more. I, I, I had a quick look. I think I think we kind of named the majority of them. Um, firecrackers. Uh, surely one's not just called smoke balls. That's not a thing. Smoke ball. That's not a... Nah, come on. Maybe in America. You're talking, you're talking nonsense. <laughs> a screamer. Uh, I suppose, che yeah, Cheeky Jimmy, that's about as close, isn't it? We've had a Romeo and Candle, Olivio. Oh, so he's popped dodge. Stay, 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 stay. Now use the chameleon skink. Because at the moment, that big one has got all manner of dirty things on you. Oh, so he uses, now he just makes the 1D. That's pretty nice, isn't it? Yeah. Now the chameleon skink just runs on a diagonal and says, Hiya. Well, the Saurus does, in fact. Yeah, and then, then the comedians. Yeah, I'm, I'm like, motor operation. It's game four. Occasionally, I'll get it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Oh, there are there are way more fireworks that exist than I, than I thought humanly possible. <laughs> really? You're the, you're the ones that like, explode in the sky and tons of like sparks come out from them. Oh yeah, yeah. They're called spiders. Didn't know that. Wow. Time rain, where the rain oh, like where it yeah. kind of rains down very slowly. Yeah. Time rain. Nice. What a cool name that is. That is, yeah. Hey, what's that over there? That's time rain. And what do we know? Bloody Catherine wheels. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. Oh, I, I quite like going here and then maybe doing the one day, but. That's really nice, actually, isn't it? Screening all that, all this off. Yeah, you're saying, hey, would you like to use your tackle blitzer? Uh, yeah, I mean, he does. Yeah, he, yeah, he yeah. does. He definitely. One, two, three, four, five, six, GFI. Three, two for 2D. No with, other choice now. It, this this is actually is a great, great, uh, great square for this chameleon scheme. To, to round out the firework chat, there are different. There are four different uh, firework noises. Oh, yeah. Okay. Bangers, cracklers, hummers, and whistlers. There you go. You're welcome. They're like jokes times, Thanks, aren't they? Bangers, crackles a little bit, hummers, mm. hummers, mm. And whistlers. whistlers. <laughs> that was that was a that was a damn good sound effect. It was, yeah. Oh no, we've been invaded. Uh oh. Oh dear. Uh oh. Still, the viewer count's gone up. It certainly has. <laughs> yeah. Oh no. Was a one. And there we go, one in nine. All those dice rolls for Strider that turn. And then the uh, Diamond fails at the first is, hurdle. Is this a go for it to score? Or is no, it straight in? No, straight in, isn't it? Straight in, yeah. get in, yeah. So we've seen a Strider score on his yes. offense. <laughs> wow. Do you know what's interesting? The chat um, even said earlier on, though, you have Lizards, six turns of offense, and suddenly they'll just pull out of the bag on the, yeah. the seventh turn. And yeah. we've seen it. We've seen it. It yeah. actually happened. Wow. Well, that's, that's, that, is, that is big news for Strider. Enormous. I, I I think that makes him favourite for the match at the moment. Yeah. Because now he can he can sit and passively defend if he needs to, or he can go for it, and he's going to get to hold his rerolls, whereas Diomed has to. And we've seen that Diomed has struggled traditionally on his offence. So he's done the bit that was hard. Oh, yeah. Undoubtedly the favourite 1-0 up. Also, he's done it without taking any damage. Hasn't used his apothecary. Mm -hmm. He's holding all the cards at the moment, Strider. Yeah. And no chance of a one turn here, of course. Uh, it's technically a small chance, but he's not going to go for it. Um, Strider Stry does the correct thing of benching the Croc score there to stop any uh, potential, you know, what's it called? A vicious ref, yeah? Yeah. Stops that. So, I mean, th there is the potential timeout. That's basically all Diamond's playing for here and, and just damage, right? He does have uh, he does have the reserve, so he does want to gang foul Asaurus, which could prove impactful. Oh, we've got a moat only chat. Wonderful. Uh, Less dinosaurs in it than I expected. There you go. That's me eating chicken. <laughs> Isn't that nice? Oh, lovely. Yeah. Two jump sticks. We need, you, we need you in a pair of horse legs. That's that's yeah. the thing we need. Yeah, more than horse leg emote. <laughs> <laughs> Ice tea emote. <laughs> or just a nose with some kind of like some meat somewhere. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, meat sniffer remote, yeah. No, I'm just joking, that's not a thing. <laughs> the horse legs for me are the absolute game, that's a game changer. I've learned so much this weekend. <clears throat> Good. Excellent. It's been, it's, I, honestly, I've had, a, I've had a blast, lads. It's been brilliant. It has been amazing. Oh, no pals. Four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine. He could have three deed with a big one here. Probably should have set up three Ds. I mean, definitely should have set up yeah. three Ds. Three Ds. Yeah. Like obviously two D with a the block ninety, but there we go. Gets a KO. Yeah. I can't. I'm not risking that. So up on me. And yep. Neither does Strider. So this is a big old foul. So you've got four. Five, six, seven, eight. So you, another assist in. Blitz with a big gun. And then, uh, you know, try a huge gang foul with this this guy who's free here. Oh. <sighs> he's got another re one free. Re got, no, no, he's got another one free. It's okay. Yeah, I guess you can re-roll, yeah. Yeah, you you're, might as well re -roll. You're only 4% to, to turn over. <laughs> <laughs> but it's okay because he, he can block and assist with this one, so it's still fine. And this yeah. is what three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So three, take the thrower, bring the thrower in. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. You could have made this a three D, but now he gets an extra assist. Oh. 
Not so yeah, two more assists in, and then huge gang foul. Yeah. And this could be cr critical now. The the apple gone for Strider. Not nothing, but not sent off. So I suppose yeah. everyone's happy. Well, if Diamond gets to overtime, he's happy that that wasn't a send off. Otherwise, it was completely irrelevant, right? And yeah. he only wins if he gets to overtime. So <laughs> he should be happy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's if one zero going into the last eight turns. And if Diamond scores, then Strider will still have his one turn to, to win the game. And we saw in the first match of this series, even with a blitz, Strider nearly scored his one turn, didn't he? Yeah, yeah. He, he needs players, doesn't he? That, that, that was what went wrong in the previous match. He just didn't have enough players to, yeah. uh, to fill all the gaps and stuff. Even if he'd rolled a bit better, it was going to be a really difficult one turn. But he certainly knows how to do them. Like, you know, obviously we all know how to do them. He's really good at them. So... Okay, so last half of Blood Bowl, maybe. Yes. Oh. Wow. The last dance, fellas. The last dance. Yeah. Jimmy, what's your favourite moment of the, the weekend been so far? I mean, <laughs> undoubtedly, uh, the, the favourite moment oh no. of the weekend was oh no. fancy a shower. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Why did I do that to myself? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, hands down, that was the favourite moment. <laughs> oh, how we wish we were all there for that. That was um, yeah. that was a glorious moment. <laughs> it really was. Blood Bowl wise, um, I don't know. I think you know probably some of the one, uh, the Call Troop game. Probably Call Troop. Uh, the Call Troop run was pretty was pretty special. Yeah. I enjoyed that a lot. Yeah, I like Call, Call Troop in Narium was was just spectacular. Yeah. It was what the day needed at the end of the day. I'm kind of glad that wasn't like game one, which is crazy. Like, what the hell is going on? But the the random crazy suited game four. And I also thought game one suited game one as well, which was that it was so technically good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that was really, really strong. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yes, the tea story. The tea story was something else. I nearly died laughing from the tea story. <laughs> <laughs> I never heard anything like it in my life. <laughs> I've got to say, I think, I think this weekend, I think walking for the first time, because we, we've known about this uh, you know, the stage for a, a month or so, to actually see it in full fruition. Oh, walking, yeah. we went, okay. We've arrived. I've arrived. This is the business. Yeah, yeah we've arrived. Yeah, I mean, you've yeah, you, you've done this before, but we've arrived. <laughs> yeah, you know, I, I, and I think, um, and it was a moment that I think we all went, went, wow, this is this is really, this is really. I think because you, I think you both in that moment kind of went, wow, this is this is this is going places. This is really yeah. exciting mm -hmm. for the game. You've committed so much of your lives to as well. Don't forget, like you're yeah. twenty plus years each. I mean, that's uh, mm -hmm. an enormous amount of time, but. Um, I'm not quite on that level, but yeah, I'm not far behind. I'm 15. 15 years. I'm okay. a baby at Blood Bowl. Okay. Okay. I'll, I'll make up for you with 33. <laughs> 33 big years. Wowzers. Jimmy's been what? dominating for 33 years. I love it. <laughs> what, about, what about yours? I'm going to ask chat as well. Like Chat, pile in with your favourite moment of the weekend. Great. Yeah, I love that. Chat, get, let us know what's been your best moment thus far. Andy's tea story. <laughs> <laughs> Lex in the freezer. Oh, yeah, meat sniff. <laughs> oh, Lex. <laughs> Didn't that come about for you simply saying, I can, I can, well, you, you could smell something on the, in the distance. You were like, oh, that's, chicken. that's definitely chicken. You could chicken. smell the chicken, yeah. Chicken, yeah. Chicken, yeah. Oh, he I was mean, right. That, he was right. And then he ate potato. <laughs> I'm, not, yeah, I'm not gonna lie. You saying, I can't believe there's no chicken in it. And we were like, no, that there definitely was. You just chose a veggie one. That was <laughs> yeah. pure gold. I love that. <laughs> Pretty great. And thank you guys at home as well for uh, embracing all the absolute anarchy that has been the uh, the chat on the uh, on the stream here. But. I think for us as well, we're always trying to balance and do the best, most amount of like us chit chatting as much as 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 you can alongside the, the core gameplay too and the analytics and stuff. So, yeah. Um, yeah, which you guys so wonderfully bring. So, yeah, I hope the chat have kind of like enjoyed the, so. the balance, right? Have we got it right? Yeah, dare ask a question you don't want the answer to, but yeah, have we have we got it about right? Do you want more game uh, or, or or not? <laughs> I mean, you're not having less game. I've just warned you now. You're not having less game, right? I can only say so many things. <coughs> oh dear. 
So we've piled in, which is uncharacteristic for Strider, right? He's piled in without the Croxagore as well. Mm. And yeah. no up support, so if this goes wrong... Yeah, this is this is spicy indeed. This could be exactly what Diamond needs here. If he gets a good turn here, Mighty Blow hit multiple other hits, like he can knock down five Saurus here and Blitzer Skink. This is, this is going to be a huge turn here. Pivotal. Yep. Match deciding, potentially. Really wanted the power there. He's got the tackle bits already at Blitzer Skink. But... No tackle. No Skink Blitz this time. No. It's I'm a, I'm a nine, well, I'm a 10 plus holds up. One time, in, one time in six, it breaks. So if he can knock all six of these over, it's not unreasonable to find a break. Then it's 50-50 on removal. Uh, yeah, enough. I think he's, I think he's going to do all the other hits first, right? To see, to see if he can, if he can spare the tackle blitzer. And there we go, Re instant removal. How far off the ball is it here? Is has is gone very the, far back? Yeah. The, the the casual, really miles away ball carrier again, hasn't he? Yep, he likes that. He likes that. It hasn't really worked for him pretty much ever, but he <laughs> likes keep doing it. <laughs> And at least this time, they're not coming around this side, right? Yeah. At least they're only coming threatening this side. Yeah. I think we're going to see a big and block, and I think we'll, uh, the, the, there's um, big and block, and then uh, blitz on the skink. Yeah. <laughs> You've seen but something. See, you know, just... <coughs> Uh, Jimmy coming in with, I've spent two weeks studying 1994 trivia, and we haven't mentioned it once. <laughs> right, go on then. Well, the next time we have a little break in play, we're going to have 1990s Trivia Corner. So, Adam, you think about what trivia question okay, you want to ask. 1990s Trivia. We're going to have a five minutes where you guys can all go away and research, I don't know, 1990s. Should we, should we give them a topic? Okay. Yeah, but, there were no, but no one can do any research into this. It has to be purely get, like, do not cheat. Just kind of well, like, like, are you going to go film? Are you going to go music? Are you going to go video games? Are you going to go football? Yeah, soccer. I, I, like, what, what, what area do you think you might aim at? I like, I liked last time around. I like we went for like the highest grossing film of the year. It was kind of a nice one. Mm. Right. Let's just choose, but yeah, let's choose a nineties year at random though. All right. Okay. All right. Number between one and nine. Eight. Cool. Nineteen ninety-eight. <sighs> Oh, that's tricky. That's a <laughs> so, tricky customer. So, the, so the, the topic will be on 1998, but we don't know what you're going to choose. Um, Jimmy and I, Karen, the, uh, the, the reason we're here, we'll, we'll, we'll do that just to appease the guys in the corner just for a little bit. And then, get, <laughs> and then, and then, uh, and then you're going to come in with some sort of question. A hello, balanced broadcast. Yeah. I love it. Yeah, yeah. Speaking of 1998, France 98, here's a question for you, for the people at home. How many headers did Zinedine Zidane score in his entire career? That is a <laughs> wild question. <laughs> wow. There you go. Oh, the oh! Do you know what? The highest grossing film in 1998 is a is an out is is an interesting one. Ooh. Interesting year. I, I know I, I know what I think it is. Okay, we'll get we'll get into it in a minute. We'll get into it. In a First, <laughs> let's focus on this, and then we'll get uh yeah. we'll jump on it. <laughs> yeah. The orcs are in really really strong shape here. Strider going back in and just piling the saurus back in again. Yeah. I, I, this is a break from how he's been playing this. It is, and he's, it's been so effective as well in defense, It's it seems weird to change anything, doesn't it? Yeah, I, I don't I don't get it. Maybe it is that mental, the you know, the mental to you know, like and, the toil it's taking. And, and this is harder to do than what he was doing as well, because if you get this slightly wrong, it, you get crunched for it, don't you? You're like, yeah. that saurus two squares away or a square out. Oh, there's two dice, two dice, two dice, rather than... Oh, that's hard. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Brilliant. Oh, dear. <laughs> Two, three, four, five. This is the blitz, right? Yeah. 100% uh, mighty blow blitz. Big and block. Block with block. So you can clear three Saurus here. Yeah. So he doesn't get the Kapow. He doesn't need it, though, does he? He can still, he can still hit them all. Completely fine. Yep, just puts one more in on the end to give the big and the block, and then boom, boom, boom. Yep. And he's got the ball carrier connected now, which I like. Yeah, this is really, really This weird. is orcs. This is like, this is how I like to drive down with the field with orcs. This is, this is when I'm like, 
Yeah, he's, he's played it with his hands, hasn't he? Like, I think I think this lineman can come out here to protect a little bit because the danger yeah. is with blocking this way. You leave them, you let them come around this so fast. So I, I would like to have seen this guy move first. Yeah, and then the big and in to protect. Yeah. Oh, pow, pow, pow. Wow. <clears throat> wow, this is brutal. This is looking like overtime. I know it's early still. He's still got ten players, Strider, but. This is, uh, you know, the way he's playing it, it doesn't look like he's going to get get it stopped to me. He's not going to do a foul, do you think? Like, he hasn't moved that lineman. Oh, yeah, maybe. That's not a bad foul. Yeah, I want an extra assist, though. Oh, it is a bad foul. <laughs> Double twos. Doesn't he'd, argue the call. If he put that assist in, he breaks armor. Oh, man. What does he? Hang on. No, he doesn't. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. No, he doesn't, no. No. It just makes me feel better about life. Oh, I, I mean, I think it, I think it's a good foul, but you take it. I don't know. I don't know. I wouldn't have done that. Calcium, calcium school of fouling says bad foul. So, what was the uh, Zenadine Zidane issue? Uh, two. It was literally the only headers he scored. Two. Yeah, it was literally only only those two in that final were the only headers he scored in his entire career. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> wow. <laughs> he was saving him up. For the right, yeah, for the right occasion. Yeah. He did well. He did yeah. well. Wow. Uh, and Chat's well, Chat's done unbelievably well, actually. The, the highest grade, I mean, there was a few calls of Titanic. That was 97. That was 1997. Mm. Uh. 1998 was actually, it was Armageddon. That's exactly what I thought. Was it really? Yeah, yeah, oh, that's mate, swear. that's awesome. <laughs> yeah, Chat, nice work there. Armageddon is, yeah, everyone's like, ever jump in with that. That's amazing. Nice. Um, yeah, dude, dude knows his films. And Chocolate yeah. Biscuits. Dude knows films, Chocolate Biscuits. Yeah, for sure. Or biscuits in general. Again, we're piling in. We're piling in. Oh, this is really weird. It's really weird, isn't it? It's worked out so well for him playing off. And now he's just piling in in the big crunch game when the pressure's on. Is he buckling under the pressure? Yes. Do you think so? I don't know, but it sounds better, doesn't it? It does like, sound better, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he's buckling under the pressure. Yeah. I, th I think... Maybe he's just, he's just saying, right, I, I've just got to stop them. So I'm just going to go, keep going, and just turn it into a giant fight. Yeah. And then maybe, so long as they don't die, you then say, well, I've, I've scored on my offense, and you failed to score on yours. Yeah, like going going the just over-blocking route, you know, hope he'll, you know, give him loads of these hits he's got. So this is this is a factor. The uh, big ones don't have block. Mm. So by giving up all of these hits... It's very high risk. Like, it's very high risk, by the way. Um, then at least, you know, using rerolls, that limits Diamond's ability to win in overtime. If he gets to overtime with, like, one reroll left. Yeah, zero yeah. rerolls left. But even then, that's just such a... It's such high risk. It, 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 it's almost like we're reaching for reasons why he might be doing it rather yeah. than... Just don't. Yeah. Surprising. But he hasn't advanced the ball yet. This is halfway through the half, and he's inside his own half. And he's probably not putting this ball in his half. I think he might. I think he might this turn, right? You can uh, you can get a uh, big in there, big in the other side. Might he blow blitz on the Saurus and then move the ball over here a bit, away from all of this? Maybe. Don't hate it. Don't hate it. I tell you what, what does hate overtime? My phone it is going to die. You're not going to have chat access for <laughs> overtime. <laughs> It's going to die. Diced. Ah, this isn't too bad. I can... You can see that. Yeah. yeah not too bad. Thanks, though, Andy. <laughs> Great stuff. <isn't> it? <laughs> well, someone's got to read chat, because I don't like doing it. It's, it's just nasty to me. All of them. <laughs> mean. That's not the blitz I thought he was going to take. No, no. I really like blitzing the Saurus. I guess they are like the you know the the skink hit squad if you if you break through and I guess he wants to break through at some point in the half. Yeah. What what? This is where Diomed got did get into trouble and on his offenses when he left a connected board state and you were like oh you could do this chain push and you know, not not all of them have been found but um, this is where you can get into bother. Yeah. Yeah. So okay, so we just okay, it's just gone and fixed really, it. Yeah. Really safe. X cage. Yeah. The problem but, is he's equal men, you know? He's, he's equal players on the pitch here. And, and he gives away all this em, em, uh, energy, and this is where 
that the, the, the lizards just go stand up, slam in, and suddenly you've gone no. In fact, you've gone basically backwards this turn. Yeah, that that turn could have could have lost it for Diamond. Yeah, I, I don't like that turn. Uh, that's a very early, a very early shout. But <laughs> yeah, I, I, but I think you're right. Like he's it isn't a, this is one of those ones where you get to turn 15 and go. I wish I was four squares forward. And, and that makes all the difference. Yeah, I really like both biggins in, blitz this guy, and, yeah. and move the ball up to at least here or something. You know, yes. Just, just get it, get it. And, and give you the option of going further right, because it's not only what you were doing there, it's the option of further advancement yeah. in the next turn or two. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, chat, do you guys think this is going to go to overtime, yes or no? Just, just yes or no? No, says Dimmy. Dimmy, Dimmy would, wouldn't he? <laughs> <laughs> okay, the chat is undecided. Mm. I think I think there's slightly more yeses in there than noes. So people believe that DMED can get this done. Adam has the uh, undisputed decider of everything now. Is that is that yeah. how it is yeah, now? Is it? You, you, you oh, I didn't realise. Yeah. Okay, is there like a jacket that comes with that, or like a yeah, it's hat? it's 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 a, it's a yellow and uh, blue jacket with a little like on the on the shoulder. A what a <laughs> I don't know what is that. Oh, and my jacket. I don't know. Like a donut with yeah, it's like a tongue, isn't it? Yeah, weird. I don't like know. a nur. So yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> like a nur. That's why I bought it. There we go. Yeah, yeah. Like, I, oh, like I, I like that. I like that. Yeah. I'll have some of that, please. <laughs> I like you said on the shoulder as well. As well, uh, yeah. <laughs> well, I, I didn't. I don't want to go like nipple area. I'm like, not again. Chest. Let's, uh, uh, right. Thank hang on, you. Hang on. Let's take. Right. Cut that bit. We'll edit that bit out. Right. Live show, mate. Can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Just run with the punches. Keep going. Oh, no one's noticed. Don't worry. No one's noticed. Oh Christ. <laughs> Just shout it right here, right here. It'll be okay. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Boom. Look at that. Stuff's happened. Yep. Yeah, I I think Big as far storm. as we've seen this competition, I don't think Diamed it could ever be written off with everything we've seen being no, boom, pulled out of the bag. So I think it's definitely still on. Yeah, he's, overtime. He's, he's found really good turns, and he's going to have to find one now because I thought the last one was a bad one. It, probably the first bad, you know, like, first yeah. move, I'd, first turn I'd say was bad from Diamed. I, just, I hated that. He was he was, <laughs> he was not he was not getting forward, and then he he went further back, closed up, you know, shelled up into this X cage and. And invited pressure, and I, I, that was the turn where I'd be trying to move forward, push forward. So yep. could, it could have lost him the game. We'll see. He's, the fact is, guard's still in the mixer here. He can still block here. And then he's got two guard big guns. You know, I mean, that's that's really good. Ah, but he's, he's blocked with one of them. But it's still two free players, right? Two yep. free players. This one's guard, so blitzing down here is fine, or, or up here. So he's got got a good blitz still. I think I think I blitz south. I think, but if you don't get the power, it ties up that blitzer as well, which makes things a bit tricky. Big problem. Big yeah. problem. Get the big one off the floor because it isn't going anywhere and it's not blitzing. Step one. Yes. Yes. Before these three. This, this yeah. should have already been Stood up. up. Yeah. I guess arguably not. If you're going to assist with the uh, blitzer here. Then he could have blitzed, you know, argument for that. But again, something you should have thought about first, I guess. But if you're going to do that, I think I'd do that whole action and that series before doing the stuff in the top right. So, yeah. yeah. <coughs> so, yep, he gets the one in nine. Then he gets the pow. Yeah, whoa. Big crunchy pow. That was pretty huge. See, this is why this is why I like that block there, being from the blitzer, because then mm. you could put in the two guards to hit this guy. I guess he can go back with the guard, yeah. and then around with another player to get this two D. So he can still two D the Saurus. He's gone. He's going to go nowhere this turn. Like that, that ball carry is probably going two squares sideways, probably, or staying. Yeah, it's got to go sideways, isn't it? Because that that line, the first line of plays he's got on the left, is including a stunned tackle blitz, so that's just going to fall over next turn. Yeah. Oh, maybe more than two squares. Would would you a strider here consider the skink two Ds? Oh, I suppose it doesn't do you enough. I was thinking about the two D uphill to free the Saurus, and, and I think no, because you haven't got block. No. No, you'd need something uh, something spicier than that. 
Just like it would have to be, you know, an uphill chain or something. Like yeah, yeah. Starting with an uphill at this point is. It, or, or it would have to guarantee the Saurus being free, right? Like, because if it was the skink was north of the guy and he could block it diagonally down to the right, and then the Saurus could come in, that take that changes that question. I think. Yeah. I still think it's like a, th a thirty percent for a, a big oh, fat yeah, fail, big fail is. At this point, I think it's too much. But you know, this is quite a nice little rotation. This isn't easy. Yeah. But um, you know, like the these two are walling off pretty well, right? Three on two. They're holding it pretty well with the guards. But I mean, it, it just means that he's got to activate the crocs first, and then he breaks it, and he gets a free saurus, and he gets two dice the ball. So yeah, he has to he has to do this. Yeah, nice. So yeah, there we go. Diamond needed a good turn. <laughs> He's gone into a little bag of tricks, yeah. and he's fished out. Good turn. Yep. Nice. Nice. It's really good. He consistently finds them, but he consistently has to find them because, you know, Stride is making him find them. Yeah. Yeah. It's like watching two pro boxers box. Yeah. Yeah. That's the analogy that every single sports person uses on commentary. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. Oh, no. Yep. I was trying to be different. You've fallen into the uh, caster's trap in your, fir <laughs> your first uh, weekend of live casting. <laughs> well, not live, you know, on location, in studio casting. It's like watching two, oh, I don't know, two people do something that requires a lot of dodging and weaving. <laughs> the fox trot? I don't know. Uh. <laughs> nah. It's dodging and weaving, is it? Nah, it's bobbing and swaying. That that is bobbing and swaying. Yeah, you're right. And they're not trying to hurt each other. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> that is also true. Yeah. Is also so true. not the Vox drop then. Boxing. Oh, uh, yeah. you're not allowed to. The klaxon's gone off behind us. You're uh, not allowed that one. Oh, you can't have that one. <laughs> no. Dodging. What, what, what? Dodging and weaving. With a one D. Yeah, that two, has to be better than just Crocs. Two spiders having a fight in the tree. Hmm. Hmm. Do spiders fight? This is yeah, a 1D definitely. from a skink. No, this is 2D from a skink. Dodge skink from God. Yep. Yes. Yep. Yep. Yes, here we, here go. we go. This is going to possibly win. Um, GFI, right? Strider. The big spider money. He could dodge. He could dodge. Because he's only got one reroll left. So it's interesting. Yeah. You dodge, you're 89% to make the dodge. Or you could GFI, which is 16% fail, but you can reroll it. Interesting. Dodge, dodge trusts in. in dodge, finds the pow. Massive. Nicely played, Strider. Yeah. Nice. Shut down. Wow. I mean, I, I kind of hated the one day, but he, he got away with it. Yeah. And uh, now he's got a skin to react as well. Can he go the long way around? Is it? Is it? Because it's less dodges, isn't it? But one dodge to there. So cut the corner first, see what happens, and then yeah, cut yeah. both, cut both to there, or one D to here, onto the rocks. Yeah, and he could have powered right if if that had been a power, then yeah, he goes for the pickup for sure. Well, it's a lot of dodges to just run straight through. I, I think he can't dodge straight through. Uh, yeah, I agree. He could also just go back right in case of like something happening, just Cause you, pull him back because you one nil up. Yeah, because you are winning. That's kind of the safe spot up here, but now he's got coming around. Only, oh, wow, does the GFI, a corner cut and a GFI. Leave it, because that could bobble into an amazingly bad square. No, I mean, <laughs> that, that's all right, isn't it? That, that's, it's Because the further south it is, he's got three turns to bang this in, and the thrower is currently taking a nap. Yeah. He's got instant lineman, though, right? Instant 2D there, line all clear. Instant 2D there. So he's he's got he's got the lineman can one two three four five back up to here, mm. but then not a lot after that. <laughs> so he can sort of fix it a bit. Yeah. Okay, so he's chained the throw towards the ball. Okay. Yeah, fine. Then you can big and south if you need if you need to. I think you can probably use the tackle blitzer here if the so next is the crocs here, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, you've got you've got to make this hit whatever happens. It's the pow. 
Okay. Tackle Blitzer on Skink? I think so. And, and then just be unblocked to, to clear both. Yeah. And then three, four, five, hand off. Oh, no, and he's not handing off. Ooh, okay. I actually quite like just going straight, pick up hand off, and then, like, run away. That's pretty strong. Like, okay, the skin can come and get you again, but you've got tackle on, like, two of them, maybe. Yeah. And one knockdown, maybe. Ooh. That's the pow. Instant and full. So throw, th Mr. Throw could actually blitz his way out of here now. <laughs> he, he could just go, oh, I'll, I'll 2D, pick up the ball. It's tricky to where to put the ball, though, isn't it? Yeah, I really liked handing off to this, to yeah. this line. Yeah, I, I, yeah. And I thought, yeah, the more I looked at that, the more I was like, yep. Just such time pressure. I guess the tackler could, like, go up. And you could... Turn back down. So, just blitz. so he's going he's gonna to blitz and then stand, probably where you said your cursor a second ago. Yeah, he's, uh, the problem is he's so slow, he might just have to pick it up. But yeah, GF, Geofighter here. You can't stay there, because yeah. that's just too exposed, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, that's the square. That's the square. Oh. Oh. Second one. Nice. Yeah, he gets knocked down. You know how Call Troop was just one bad dice roll from going, <laughs> um, this is that, isn't it? It's, it's yes. on a knife edge, yeah. and Strider is just constantly gone, just just, just wobble over. Come on, <laughs> just wobble over. And it hasn't yet. I think I don't think this is going to go to overtime. I think, I, think, I think Strider's got him. I mean, he's certainly favoured, but he, he hasn't got him yet, has he? But it's looking like... Oh, I mean, it's it's actually looking not as bad as it was. <laughs> like, that was a pretty good recovery. Again, Again. another good turn from Diamond. Yeah. The guards are walling off the crocs very effectively. Yeah. There's not an obvious easy 5-plus hit. <laughs> That's pretty big that that's not a pow, because that leaves yeah. an option on the table that he might not have ordinarily had. Yep. And, of course, you could have knocked him over and stunned him, in which case, I mean, that would have been unbelievably massive. Yep. I, I, I don't think I'd necessarily do it, but I'm, I, it's on the table for discussion, which is the lying down skink is a 3-plus for 2D uphill on the ball. At this stage, I don't care what happens if we both go over so it's actually just don't roll a 30% and if it works it's pretty strong I want the crocs off the floor um, I, don't, I don't hate it I, I think in, if you're going to do that move then maybe just dodge it go in there and then go for the 5 plus dodge for the, the full 2D yeah I, I mean the safer line of play is to take that light air that skink uh, blitz the big un and put that on that Saurus on the ball and yes. then take the skink and just go oh, I'm going to stand in front of you yeah. and say yeah, deal with two things marking the ball I think that's yeah. probably what I actually do yes stand this Croxagore up half an hour ago <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's an idea if it wants that's huge yeah this needs to get off the floor He's giving it more time to compose itself. <laughs> Give him another few seconds. Yeah. Composure is everything in Blood Bowl. Oh, it really is. <clears throat> Strider, for once using more of his time bank than Diomed. That's interesting, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I like, I like just moving it back. Get a bit of safety in there. I like that last turn rather than, you know, facing it. I just thought, you know, get a... Okay. Gets the dodge off there. Yeah. No, no blitz yet. I think it's the Saurus in the bottom of the screen. Yeah. It, it's not the Crocs, is it? Like, that would be bonkers. Yep. Well, here we go. He stands it up eventually. <laughs> <laughs> His order operation has definitely got slightly worse in this, hasn't it? Uh, I mean, it... Wait a second. Wait, what? Okay, that's a misclick. 
Yeah. To not use the reroll. No, he so to dodge away um, into an empty square is a five plus. To dodge with a Saurus on a into a marked square is a six plus. So he rolled a five, and we're like, wait, what? And it's because he dodged into a square that sure. he wouldn't do. Yeah. So the yeah. pathing was all wrong. Yeah. So either he wanted to blitz this guy and then base, which is completely reasonable, right? One dice blitz and then go and base the ball, or he was going to dodge this way and then hit the hit the ball. Yeah. So either way, it was it, it was not this. This was not what he wanted. A hundred percent not what he wanted. And and because he put the skink in that's just been punched over, he did get. Um, he would have had two dice on the ball yeah. with block, like because he made the dice roll, the singular dice roll he needed. Or, it, it, or he was gonna, he was gonna one dice blitz. I think, I think maybe he was gonna one dice blitz and then tag, right? As you said, like tag yeah, in yeah. both directions. Yeah, that, that's more the stride think, move that I expected. Yes, I think. Yeah, you're right. I think, and he got crunched by the way it happened. Yeah, misclick. I mean, misclick makes sense because then he would like be nominating this guy as the blitz target, right? Yeah. And, and then like carried on clicking and, and went near him. That, that that makes kind of sense to nominate this guy's. Because if you've nominated that guy as the blitz target, to then go there is a really weird misclick. Whereas if you're nominating this guy as the blitz target, then it makes more sense that you misclick down there. Yeah. And that's where playing four games in a row comes in. Yeah. Because right? we haven't seen him do that sort of stuff before. No. Um. No motor skills rather than mental. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> funny, funny the uh, the strain of the uh, competition. I'm not sure I even like a, a block here because now this opens up the block off, right? I, I like just leaving yeah, leave it. Yeah, leave it alone. You've now got to stick that last big one in. But it's because he blocked his path, right? He blocked his oh, path with yeah. this guy. He wanted to go one, two, three, four, five to there, but he blocked his path, so now he had to make that block so he could come up. Oh, he's left Strider a five, five plus, I think. I mean, you can't not, can you? It'll, ultimately, it's really difficult to, to stop. Five pluses being made, like attempted. To stop them even being attempted is very difficult. You've got to be in a pretty dominant position to to stop a five plus shot. I think he's actually. I think looking at this board state, I mean, no, he's he's not finished. He's not finished yet. All right, two of those skinks are gonna get punched in. A, wait, what? Yeah, he has. He has to stop this, right? He had to stop the skink hit. Yeah. Because the skin could have punched this guy in f to free the Saurus, so he he absolutely had to do this. Yeah. Because then he just two Ds here, um, two Ds there, and then this this Saurus hit. So yeah, that was good good play again by Diamond. His defense has been on point, isn't it? Like as well as he's a f he's on the offense, but he's still managing to always position himself so that he's got some element of control. Oh. Yeah, yeah, I'm a big fan of Diamond. He's, he's, you know, if there was, any, I think if there was any doubt, if anybody had any doubts against Diamond, he should have won them over, you know, yeah, over yeah. these course of games against the whole tournament. In fact, I, right, first round beating Elliot in the first round, mm. yep. amazing tournament for Diamond. Yeah. I, I also think Strider's played really strong. Right, I know he's had a good team, but he's he's hardly put a foot wrong. Apart from his offense in this matchup, <laughs> it, it, he's hardly put a foot wrong. Yeah. yeah. Props to both of them. Yeah. And that's nice, right? It's nice to see two people play really, really well. Um, well that's what you want from a grand final, isn't it? Yeah. And actually, Diamond is the only person that Strider's lost to, isn't it? Because it was in the winner's bracket final. So, you know, there, there's no doubt yeah. that these two have done the best in the tournament. Yep. All right, Skinky Poo's on. I think he's going to throw... A couple of more two dice blocks with Saurus here to clear the path. The skink in our bottom right that's standing up is going to go for the one D on the ball, and it's a four plus. Yeah. I think that's I think that's what he's going to try. Yeah. Very reasonable. Yeah. Not yeah it, absolutely like that non follow there confirms. Yeah yeah hundred percent. Is it so it's one th three plus dodge? Three plus and a GFI. Uh, rush. <laughs> <clears throat> so, yep, clears it. And this is probably better than the Saurus dodge in the 2D. Yeah. Probably. Yeah, because you're happy with the both down here. Probably. Yeah. How many scoring threats has he got? Is the tackle blitz of scoring? It looks like it is. Looks like, yeah, it looks like three. Yeah. So three plus the guy with the ball. <laughs> three plus one. <laughs> I don't know why I just said... Three. Oh, oh no. he's failed it. He's got tackle to hit it. And there is still a GFI, I think. A rush 
Yeah, it's still a rush for the thrower, but two re-rolls right. and a three dice blitz. Oh my goodness. Well, it looks very much like it's gone over time. 97% of the time. <laughs> oh my god, the heartbreak if you were double ones here for Diamond. Could you imagine? Double one for 700 euros. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I do actually like this hit here because if you're, you're you need to win the overtime. Yeah. Oh, makes it casual five. It's fine. So here we go. Who's going to win the overtime toss? Tex Mex says that about two turns ago you thought it was over for Diamond. Um, so uh, let's bear in mind Strider had a complete. What's oh, not overtime? Cataclysmic failure, right? So let's let's just bear that in mind. That this is an entirely different matchup if Strider doesn't do what he did by accident. Yeah. yeah. The mis yeah. misclick, because that Saurus should be marking the ball. The skink can't then just be punched off and the tackle blitz doesn't run forward. Like, it's an entirely different matchup. Now, I hope Strider can mentally recover from that, right? Yeah. That's hard. It's hard. It's fair enough, though, right? It is. It's a blood. It, it wasn't a blood ball mistake, but it was a blood ball three mistake. You know, using yeah, yeah. the interface is part of the skill for sure. And you you feel bad when you do it because you didn't like misthink. <laughs> you just, you yeah. know. But but that's it. And you know, it's taken its toll, hasn't it? Fourth game of the day, some you know brutal <coughs> games over time. Fair enough. Yeah, yeah. Data entry didn't quite go according to plan there, and. <laughs> Yeah, he's got the one turn chance. I, 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 I shouldn't have written that off. It's not necessarily overtime. There's a re-roll, mm -hmm. and there's a one turn chance. So, where'd you put when you when you start considering putting the re-roll in? It's a good question, isn't it? Because it's not the pickup, right? It, it's probably for me. It's about once that skink has got the ball, maybe get the, get him the ball first with like pick up and pass rather than GFIs. So just get him the ball first. Don't re-roll getting him the ball. Yeah. And then think about it when you do the hits. Wow, he's gonna be in, in two tackle zones almost exclusively all the way through. Yep. Because they need three we need three pushes, Jeff. Yeah, he'll end up in one, yeah. Wow. I guess that depends then when let's see where the ball goes. If it goes deep, that's gonna be a problem. Yeah, it's well that's the thing, you are gonna like, like end up catching on a four anyway, so it's probably gonna be better to make it, you know, do it on a five and then if you if you just naturally get that five then that really ups the odds of you, you know, putting in the reroll yeah. to get the one turn. Yeah. Rishu says we might see a timeout. That's true, Maybe. yeah. Yeah. Also, the quick snap. So this is a, a thing that people don't do enough. This skink should have been here, in my opinion. Or or, you know, or this movie, this one is the one. But you want one that, so if you get the quick snap, you can move it forward, um, you know, to benefit that. Cheering fans. It, it doesn't work Ooh. how it used to. Cheering fans is... Uh, nobody. They both nobody. rolled a one. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Nobody's cheering. <laughs> <laughs> so it's the grand, grand final. final. <laughs> no one's up for it. <laughs> wow. Amazing. Right. So he's got the very, very beginning bit, which you have to get. Yeah. So that's the. F this has to be a push as well because you're using the whole method. Um. Yes. Yes. Yep. Gets the push. He wants to dodge in here at some point, right? So he probably should dodge in here now. Is that yeah. correct? Oh, no, here. You should dodge in there already. Oh, the crocs can block. The crocs can block to fill there. So the crocs blocks next. Yeah. Well, no, it doesn't have to be next, does it? Because, But it, it does need to happen. It, it's one of the next two blocks, right? You need yeah. the, the dinosaur pushing the same guy that we've been watched punch twice. That has to be a push. Yes. Um... Or oh, and then the crocs. No, you could then 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 if it's not, you could fill. You could make yeah. like skinks and then fill. Yeah. So he doesn't. This doesn't have to be a push. This can be a pound still work. So you do. So order operation correctly for exact optimization is block with the dinosaur. Yeah, here gets the push. Okay. Look a dog. It would it would be stylish to have the game won on a one turn. It that's would not. Be, yeah. It would be really cool. Yeah. So yeah, now the crocs block. Yeah. Don't you bonehead on me. Oh man, do your team re-roll the bonehead here? Why is this a blitz? Oh, what? it's not. It's all right. It's know. just the. It's just. No, the blitz was uh, happened instantly. Oh no! Do you? No. You can't. You can't. I you don't can't. think you can. No. 
Oh, right. Who's going to win the overtime toss? Massive. Right. Here Massive, we go. isn't it? This is it. This is huge. And very, as chat agrees, very fitting for a, a, a grand final to go to overtime to really determine the, vic the true victor. Yeah. The Lizards have won it. They've surely got to receive. <laughs> as much as he struggled Don't. on every single offense, he has to receive. Yeah. Yeah. So he didn't have a UI uh, hiccup there. <laughs> yeah. And did he? What, what's he lost? What's what's out for the lizards? Uh, just just a skink, so nothing essentially. And then the out for the orcs is just the send off. So in yep. the f first few matchups, we've seen death and destruction and carnage in creation. <laughs> <laughs> and in this matchup, we've seen handbags at dawn. Handbags at dawn. Yeah. yeah. Well, <laughs> okay. I'm 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 rolling with it. Handbags at dawn. So lizard men are. Dinosaurs, and you could make like they like it's kind of like snakes, and you can make snake leather, and then yeah, handbags, and that's why it's a thing. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Anyway. Yeah. It's it's a thing. I'm in. It's yeah. a thing. Adam. It's a thing. <laughs> it's a thing. On oh, the ball. Hmm. Quick snap. Not too impactful. Not, not a thing. So for Strider, that's good, right? It's not a bad uh, event. Yes. Yeah, there's more bad events for, for the receiving team, for sure. You know, they say, handbags at dawn, just like horse legs in a freezer. <laughs> nice. 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 <laughs> yeah. It's a classic you know, thing. Next, you know your next gig, right? You're going to be so bored. You'll be like, God, this is really dull. <laughs> uh, I said, <laughs> I said, anyone got any horse leg stories? <laughs> anyone? <laughs> Adam, you can leave when you're ready. Thank you. Thanks, everyone. Bye. 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 <laughs> Oh wow! Oh, OMG! So this is—I mean, this is it. Is I again? I still like the just banging it in as early as you can. You know, just just make it a fifty-fifty. You know, give yourself a fifty-fifty at least. <laughs> Taxi for Savage. Hey. <laughs> Taxi for Savage. <laughs> And, and, and because, especially as it's gone so wrong so often, <laughs> yeah. right? Don't keep. It's like it's the definition of madness, isn't it? You're banging your head on a brick wall all the time. But just don't do it. Uh, wow. Going very narrow. Brick walls. Just say no. Obviously, the Crocs blitz, I think, and the or, yeah, and the pick up of the ball. That, that's that's what he's going to do. It's just in which. Which order? Yep. Yeah, I think pick up first, then crock splits. Yeah, agree. Got it. Yep. So that Strider's reroll still protected. I d yeah, and there's no way he rerolls that because of his beautiful positioning beforehand. I like that. Yep, safe moves first. Love to see it. Boom! Instant full power. And he's fine. Hmm. Here we go, Diamond. Time for another defensive masterclass, you know. <laughs> <laughs> he's done unbelievably well. Can he carry on? And, and he does have two rerolls to stride as one. So there is, he's got some gas in the tank here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's got some gas. You can use it. Um, amazing analogy from Andy Davo. There's, there's a great clip where Andy says, "Rerolls are like gas in the tank. You can either you can either put your you can either press them for more power, or you can use them for protection." <laughs> that's that's not quite the clip, but yeah, sure, sure. We'll, that we'll is, roll that with is that. literally exactly it. Word for It was incredible. Oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> the king of analogies. <laughs> <laughs> Careful on bringing my boxing clips out again. <laughs> oh dear. The gas tank. Yep. <clears throat> so let's see if he if he goes all in or if he goes slightly more protectionist, defensive. Yeah, interestingly, he went for this one, I guess, the positional hit, but, you know, there was a mighty blow here. He could have put in the assists here and blitz with mighty. Mm. And now the tackle's exposed. Maybe he should have moved one of these biggins first so he could have got behind them. I mean, definitely. I think definitely should have done. Move these biggins and then he could have got behind. But I guess he's used them to protect him, so it's okay. 
Oh. So the mighty blow's exposed on the wing there. Oh. Can the lineman? Can't. Oh, hang on. That's an E. I thought it was an A. <laughs> it's a bit like Cyrillic or something, isn't it? Yeah. <clears throat> so, yep, he does go straight for the mighty blow. <laughs> Only a push. And this actually could be Strider saying, let's do it. Let's go. Let's let's roll. Let's yeah. get. Yeah, I, I like. I like just, this. I, I like just going for it now. Let's bowl. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just jam down the sideline. Yes. Get, at least make it a fifty-fifty. Especially with you know maybe with the mental strain, and, and all that kind of stuff. You know, if you, if at least if you get it in, you've got a fifty-fifty shot. Yeah. At least. Yeah. 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 At least. And I'd back myself on a coin flip any day. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Thulian, that's brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Wow. And the, and the chat in my stream, I wonder why I don't read it, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> that's not true, I do read it all up. I just have to cry afterwards. <laughs> this is a big, big commitment here. Big commitment. Which is good. I like it. I like the big commitment. Yeah. We've wanted, right, we've wanted this for five offences. We're now going to see it. It bloody, bloody work, hasn't it? Right? <laughs> Imagine how silly we're going to both look if this goes like a deck of cards and just folds. <coughs> I mean, I don't... I, well, the thing is, I don't think... Will look too stupid if it does because the the thing the point is the other offense has failed anyway. Oh yeah, yeah. So yeah. this isn't plan A. This is the the plan A is not working. Let's go to plan B. Yes. And he, he hasn't done it till now, and now he's you know. And if this fails too, so be it. But at least he's trying something a bit different finally. Good. Confirmed, not stupid. Excellent. Yeah. Don't worry. If you agree with me, you confirm not stupid. <laughs> <laughs> so he's gonna mighty blow the skink in front of the ball, I think, with a little bit of finagling. Which you don't hate. Which you don't hate. Yeah. Block the Saurus at the Croxagore. We need somebody in here. Which you do not want to be the tackle, which means GFI. GFI, yeah. But it's a good spot then to get two guards there, or, or a guard here and a guard up there. Like, really strong to get that guard here. Yeah, and then the tackle can go and be the sweeper, I think. Yeah, yeah, at least the, get him back. The bad news is the ball carry is in range. Yeah. So you might have to double G if I were the tackle. It's not going to. Safe moves first though, love to see it. Yeah, so there we go. That that's now hit on the crocs. Only the push. But it does create a square which actually pushes the ball carrier out of range. If you go skink skink. Yes, yeah, which you probably do, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. But then you've probably got a GFI if you do that, so but then it saves you getting hit. I think probably do GFI, I think probably do blitz here. And then GFI back. No, he's hitting the Saurus. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's okay, isn't it? And then, then he gets then he gets at least to guard the sideline. And it's not super easy to hit him. Yeah. Oh, that's a shame that's not a pal. Mm. And then the blitzer hits, rolls a push, and the uh, and the thrower comes across five. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah. I don't you, actually hate, hate a go for it here just yeah, to make yeah. a, a a secondary like don't cut across me. Yeah, yeah. He could have made an extra screen there with a GFI. Maybe, maybe should have done. Yeah. Maybe. I mean, it's hard to say. Maybe. Tricky. <laughs> this looks scorable, right? You can skink there, two D there. Then 2D there, then 2D there, and then just go for the score. Yeah. Because you've, you've got this open thing, whereas the GFI makes that a little bit harder. I think I, I, I'm very early on one dicing the the bottom of those three guard biggins to give me the opportunity to get rid of the rest of them. No, I 2D, yeah. Just oh, move, move sorry, yeah. No, yeah. 2D. 2D. Yeah. I'm hitting that. I should I, I should be a little bit more ambiguous with my, my reasoning. Yeah. I don't know. I'm going to do it in the most optimal way. I'm just going to do that thing. You see the thing over there? You see that? Yeah, the thing there. 
<laughs> yeah. 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 Don't do it the bad way. Do it the goody way. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and of course you can you can hit with that one, which then frees this one, which is really nice. And that one is now probably blitzing the MB guy. The the guy blocking the way. Almost Sorry. the throw. Ooh. If he wants. Or the tackle. But you can block these two first, maybe, right? Crocs block. Big, oh, just Saurus block. He's got two friends. Oh, yes. Yeah. Then, they, they, yeah, that, then, then let's see if, if you're going to blitz the mighty. Yeah. Blitz the mighty, then, I guess. I think he's going to go and score this, you know. Yeah. Which I love. I think it's beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> could blitz the tackle, I think, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. Yeah, yeah, you could blitz the tackle, this guy. That's a better oh, play. Because the him. throw is not in the right square. Yeah. <laughs> yep. But, you know, it was, it, say, the right square, you know, it was a GFI and he's only got two rerolls. So, you know, do, do you have to reroll it if you fail it? Probably. Do you want to reroll it? No. So maybe this is a better square. Yeah. Or in fact, he's just going for Mr. Throw himself. Nice. I wonder if you can stall this out. That, that would be much more Strider's MO, wouldn't it, right? Yeah. I don't know where he's going. He's got th three skinks. This is... GFI? But then how do you cage it? Okay, Crocs. Yeah, okay, Crocs. Are pretty good. But there's a lineman. Oh. He's rapidly running out of extra time, isn't he? He's on, there with the ball. he's on 24 seconds. 20 seconds. And then the game just the turn just ends. The game just ends. Um, black screen, game over. Thanks very much. <laughs> GFI with that one. 13 and seconds. Multiple dodges with the Come other. on, Strider. Come on, Strider. Move one of those skinks. Come oh on. Oh my god, imagine Seven if seconds. Out of time. Seven seconds. Five seconds. Oh, he goes there rather one than second. GFI. No seconds. So he misses the last move, runs out of time, misses the last move. So this was really nice to do this to guarantee something in case this GFI failed, but he ran out of time, did not get to make that GFI flip me, and also pushed this guy into a double GFI range anyway to hit with block. Wow. I reckon that might have been a UI thing where, because you, you've run out of time, the game just chose a square rather than pushing sideways. And also couldn't uh, follow. Couldn't follow. Yep. 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 Which, is, which is fair, you've run out of time. Oh, we do have the uh, we do have the time running out bug now of the sound effect and the red screen. He's, this shouldn't be happening yet, but adds to the tension, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's like countdown with the last thirty seconds clock. Du -du 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 -du. Oh, yeah. Oh, that was yeah. that was a bit depressing, wasn't it? Yeah. Du -du 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 -du. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Oh, did you not oh. know the right answer? <laughs> Were you not trying to get against a ten-year-old? Oh dear, poor you. <laughs> <laughs> it's harder than it sounds. Oh yeah, yeah. It's very hard. These immense children, Science right? for a six-year-old is brutal. <laughs> Science for a six-year-old. What colour is that? Gets the power. <laughs> so this could be quite good, right? I think this is the correct way of doing it because then <laughs> you've got three dice to find the power. Then you get to move this guy here. So that if you fail the GFIs, uh, rushes, then you've still got, still something, got something in the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah I like yeah. that, yeah. Yeah, it's got to be correct. Yeah, Diamond doesn't have oodles of time as well either, right? He's <laughs> down a minute 15, yeah. but he's still got 27 of his turn. Yeah. So yeah, got, got a double GFI blitz. Oh, spicy. Gets the, gets the both down. Oh, horrible scatter for... For Diomed, in the tackle zone of the Crocs, he does put in the tackle. Nice. <coughs> does he 1D? Does he 1D this Saurus? Nope, he's already ended turn. So, how do we solve this? He's got 1 minute 53 seconds to do so. Yeah, this is the, this is the thing now. No time banker. The time bank is gone. Holy moly. There's not an obvious... Uh, okay, I guess the skink here to get this guy. Double GFI for the scatter. I might even be playing this for kicks. Yeah. Oh. I think you've got a scatter and hope, hope your skink can do something. <coughs> got to try. Got to try to get the skink in, haven't you? Yeah. Like it's, it's so good. The, the bonehead from a crocs. Any form of crocs fail, like bonehead, would be catastrophic. Turnover is... 
In fact, they're, they're both horrendous, aren't they? Yeah, I mean, just don't, you just don't activate the crocs here, I don't think. I see no reason to. We, we'll see what happens. I think, I think the play is to scatter. But blitz either the tackle or the... Uh, no, it's got to be the tackle, uh, the mighty. So blitz the mighty and get the scatter. And if you, like, if you get a good one, you're straight in, aren't you? <laughs> if you get a bad one, at least you can uh, get this chameleon skink in as well. Gets the pow. And the AV break. Yeah. And he gets one of the great scatters. Oh my goodness. Are you putting the reroll in here? <sighs> Not on the pickup. I wouldn't on the pickup. Uh, I probably would on the second dodge. Oh no, because the, then then you're just going to draw. Oh. Yeah, this isn't Blood Bowl 2, is it? This is not. Um, congratulations, you scored. Thank you very much for playing. Sorry you didn't get to move. This is a full half. Yeah. 15 seconds, fellas. Oh, man. <gasps> Wowza, Rooney. Yeah, I think it's okay with that scatter. I think the activation is fine now. Just couldn't do it before. Holy moly, he's made it all. <laughs> he fails the one in nine dodge. He still had dodge. He snaked, yeah, he snaked the dodge. Oh, man. This is a clever score from Strider. I'd never thought of just, just putting the ball down there. <laughs> yeah. All right, well, here we go. There's a chance. There's a chance for Diamond to, to get the turnover score. This is a bit like playing Blitzplit now, isn't it? Like, it's it's quick fire turns. You have no time banks. I mean, time has still got a minute. But yeah, not a lot. Not a lot. Mm. He's in a lot of trouble as well, honestly. Like, he said he's got a chance. He doesn't have much of a chance, does he? This is this is brutal. He's got an advantage over here, but it's not much of one. He's got, you know, parity here, but you can't do anything with it. And he's got a stun here where he's outnumbered where the ball is, so... This Blitz, is. Blitz with that big and that's that's on the left hand side. Get that in and get against the crocs and just just yeah, you know, make it unpleasant. Yeah, yeah, it's, that seems the only option, doesn't it? Yeah. E either up here next to the ball or onto there. Yeah. Yeah, that square there is my that's my favourite square there. It's tough, isn't it? You can dodge this guy off as well at the end to tag him on the diagonal. I think that's a pretty good. That would actually give him then two dice. If he makes both of those things, then the throw, Mr. Throw can then two dice the Saurus. Yeah. Yeah, I quite like that. Oh, man, what a final. <laughs> this is pretty pretty great to have such, like, you know, such a nail-biter in the final match. Yeah. Yeah, the big, the big and blitz seems the obvious blitz. Maybe he's thinking about which square to go in, because I think they're both valid. Uh, neither one leaps out as obviously stronger. Oh, he's blitzing with this big and instead. It's interesting. Yeah, that's that's better, actually, because if you blitz this one, then the Saurus could, uh, the Saurus could, like, you know... Ah, uh, he's going to... I think he's going to dodge. He's going to dodge here. Because, actually, that gives you... if you Even if you fail the dodge... That gives you a player back. So now he's got two mobile players. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, yeah hitting here is really good and getting your guards in. And then you can try this dodge as well. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Good what? turn of dice for Diamond. Man, this is something else. Wow. We could uh, Crocs block, open the turn with a Crocs block, <laughs> then Saurus block. Oh, we could Saurus block, Saurus block, then Crocs blitz, right, to try and get this scatter. Yeah. I quite like going for scatters. It does have a free chameleon skink. Oof. Thank Ooh. God we didn't open with Crocs blocks. Yeah, no, yeah, I realised. I realised afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> you like opening the Crocs block is not something you ever want to do, but... Sometimes it's the thing that you have to do, right, to, to unlock things. Yeah. Now Mr. Throws at risk. Huge risk. Chameleon Skink. I mean, Chameleon Skink has to come round at some point. Oh, scatter. Croc scatter onto ball. Yeah, Create really options. nice. Really nice. That's what's on the two. Beautiful. A really good move, yeah. Really good move. What's the reward? Wow. Nice scatter. Chameleon Skink can go around and shore that up. 
Yep. So the camel's king to there. Yep. Or it could just give a 2D, but I think he'll go there. Yep. And then this guy could go 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then don't score. Or he could just try and dodge through. Dodge through is a bit risky, isn't it? Yeah, I'm not sure which one I like. <clears throat> uh, with, with them both on the crocs, I, I like just getting it and going away. Oh, two dicing. One dicing. One dicing. Oh, man, so he's going for the score. Yeah, he's going for the score. Definitely. We've, we've seen him fail some really critical dice rolls recently. He makes them all Not there. this one, though, Adam. I know what you were thinking. You were about to say, he's like, no, don't do wow. it. But he scored. He scored. Great touchdown. Wow. wow, what a touchdown there. What a touchdown from Strider. Four turns. That's all that's left for Diamond here to square this up. This is uh, <laughs> the chat. Go! <laughs> uh, rightly so. Rightly so. After all the, I mean, you think about Strider, we talked about this earlier on. Like, he started today, his first match was at 3 p.m. local time for us. That was seven hours ago. <laughs> wow. He's still grinding and TD. I mean, it's just unbelievably impressive. Yeah, unbelievably still impressive. spotting that chain really nice. And, you know, that's the thing. He made that risky, risky block, if you like. The blockless block from the Crocs ago, Bonehead and, and uh, Loner and blockless. But then it got him the chain. Well, yeah. Maybe won him the game which might have won him the tournament. So that Crocs could have just won him the tournament. That Crocs needs framing. <laughs> <laughs> framing. Yeah, keep a piece for yourself. Yeah. Which bit would you keep? The head. <laughs> Why is it with you and heads? <laughs> and bags and freezers? It's uh, very I mean, strange. Surely Andy would keep the legs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he would. <laughs> Definitely would. <laughs> <laughs> He's a leg man. <laughs> Horses legs. <laughs> yeah, Diamond playing for kicks at best. This was this was the thing about the you know the lizards struggling all their offenses. If you just get it done, now the worst that can happen is kicks, right? And look where it's gone. Oh well, well it could on. be a touchback. You, I'd like to see, see this be a touchback just for for me. For Diamed, he's had such bad luck on all these kicks. All these kicks have been super deep, and he's had to struggle around for multiple turds with Mr. Throw in the back backfield. So it would be nice for him if he just got to give it to Blitzer. I mean, this is, it's been really bad, the kicks. And it's going to go out. Watch. Nope. <laughs> I'm, sh I'm bad at this. <laughs> <laughs> no. Do you just launch it? Do you, do you keep one Blitzer back? And just go three, four, five, launch it. Because he's a three, but you're like a five plus. No, maybe it'd be a six plus. No, you can't. <laughs> you could throw a five plus, I think. But it's not going to be close enough. Well, we've got double powers. Stun, not terrible. A sad little skink there. Interesting, you know, blitzing with a mighty blow there. He's got the tackler, but still wants to blitz with a mighty blow. Makes you wonder how, how useful these tacklers are, doesn't it? Yeah. You could have just taken two mighty blows then. Yeah. Like, or an extra guard. Yeah. But then, you know, he, he, the critical ones he was trying He's, to do. With yeah, them, he, yeah. He, yeah, the tackler's been that the Swiss Army knife. Uh-oh. 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 <gasps> Mr. Throw. No. Usually so reliable. <laughs> yeah, lots of people say he's a really good player. Only joking. <laughs> Are we joking? Oh, that's almost lost him. That's almost lost him the tournament. And you know, like it wasn't his fault. Like the one good thing he is, he, the one thing he's good at is picking up the ball, and he's failed. But I think this might be set up for next turn. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. So he's set up perfectly to throw it to this guy on a four plus pass. Okay, fine. <laughs> He's thrown the game. No, Mr. Throw's not not doing bad here. Good blitz. Just take out all the fast things. Yeah, like the furthest forward player, right? That's like the standard. Standard thing you do on defense is just blitz the, the deepest player. Uh, and you try and blunt progression. Yeah. What could be interesting is Crocs on this blitzer. 
into GFI. Well, rush. <laughs> yeah, I think I leave it because there's, effectively it's the tackle blitzer and his friend are the are the problems. Oh. Yeah, that's nice. Yep. That's so safer, it's isn't it? It's, it's yeah. It's the straight away. It's just safer. Yeah. But I mean, here we've got a tackle blitz, base the other one, and then you're, you're basing both skinks with tackle, and you run up, do this pass, and then this guy runs up, straight through the middle. Maybe he's even yep. double GFI, and get another guy to come through. Maybe, maybe you could risk the uh, intercept. I think if you if you bend it slightly, it, it doesn't intercept. I don't mean like to throw the ball around a corner or something, I mean like... But it's six squares away, so I'm not sure. How it's six far. by four. Six by four is the. Oh, okay. Well, remove a remove a skink's pretty good anyway. Then you can tag the other one. Yeah, it's got to be on a diagonal. Wait. Yep, let's do it. Yeah, it's, it's you can't afford a re like your last reroll to do a an extra GFI here. So yeah, here we go. We've got the perfect four plus pass for Mister Throw. Well, he does have to pass the animosity check first. <laughs> Yeah. I don't think Throw should have had animosity. No, it's stupid. It's completely <laughs> stupid that throwers have animosity. <laughs> His entire role on the team is to distribute the ball and he just doesn't want to do it. <laughs> Unbelievable. Yeah. Not, not not many things out there like your job is to do this, but I don't want to. There aren't many things like that. No. No. No there aren't. <laughs> I'm sure there's some, but I don't know what they are. Hmm. When you think throwing a ball of all things would be pretty straightforward. Yeah. It's like being a presenter. It's like, but I don't present. <laughs> right? Yeah. Yeah. I, I really want to present some action. Are you, yeah. If you if you don't want to do the one thing you're being paid to do, yeah. probably shouldn't be there. <laughs> yeah. Probably yeah. shouldn't be there. Oh, I, I, on average, overall, probably in the wrong place. Yeah. I mean, it makes That's perfect true. sense for the blitzers, right? The blitzers get the ball and they're like, no, I'm not giving it to anyone. You know, a bit like Cristiano Ronaldo, you know, he's going to take it to the house. That's it. But yeah, the, the, the throwers, it's the whole point of their existence. It's ridiculous <laughs> that they don't do it. Two turns. What do you, what do you think Strider's moves for the next two turns is? Where does, where does he focus his attention? Keeping that right-hand side... This blitz is under wraps. Yeah. Yeah. He, 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 as Jimmy's saying, he, like, you're punching the things that are furthest forward, and, and I'm hunting down the things that are agility 3 plus. So, for those watching at home, that is not the big ones. Mm -hmm. um, and you're just trying to count squares now, because anything that the tackle blitzer pretty much can't score, I'd have to just double check, but I'm pretty sure he's out of range. It's, there's only a handful of players that can score. You're just, just, you're just stopping them moving. Yeah. You've won if they don't score. You plug it up. Yeah, the, the tackler is actually just in range. <laughs> just. But he, does, he doesn't want to dodge away from the skink, right? But I guess maybe the skink could dodge away from him and then fail and then leave him free. Yeah. S Strider could, could comfortably here just two dice uphill the thrower. Like, it's, it's, it's an option. I wouldn't say it's comfortable. He'd have to dodge from tackle. And well, he then he's freeing, him, he's freeing him up to be a scorer, right? That's a very that's a very ballsy play, Anthony. <laughs> Thanks very much. I don't think you'd do it <laughs> in a million years. I think Crystal might do it or Inarian might do it, but I don't think I don't think you would do this one. This is this is pretty wild. That's pretty wild, man. Yeah. <laughs> but he's, he's he's shaping up to do it though. He's either going to press end turn or do it. Yeah. He's going to press end turn. Yeah, of course he is. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, that's one thing Strider has done. He's played conservatively, as we said. He's been very kind of um, composed in each decision made, it seems, for the majority at least, anyway, mm. yeah. of the time. A s statesman of Blood Bowl. Yeah. yeah. So what I like here is you do all these blocks, or enough to clear the way, you dodge blitz, you block, and then you've got him free. Pass, short pass, uh, quick pass, sorry, quick pass to him, and then he just runs off. Hope for the best. See, that's that's really interesting because that's not what I had in my head at all, right? Like, completely <laughs> not what I had in my head. What were you thinking? Um, so there's a mighty blow blitzer uh, in the top left, uh, and I'm thinking it's just a simple simple three plus to get that guy in scoring range. So first of all, I'm going to start there, put a guy in scoring range. Then I'm probably going to do uh, the the tackle blitz, dodging away uh, shenanigans. But I. I just want to get something in scoring range. The problem ASAP. with this is it frees the Saurus, right? It? Yeah, it does. Yeah, you've got to make, you, you're probably talking about making one or more go for it. Otherwise, they just hunt you down. 
But he's got he's got a big and free. It's free to big and yeah. Well, hey. <laughs> that is massive. <laughs> <laughs> he's got a big and free. That is massive. <laughs> there we go. This is just <laughs> So we started here eight hours ago. Yeah. We're still going strong. Yeah. <laughs> I actually prefer I preferred blocking this guy, give you a bit of space to get to get through this this angle. So I'm not sure what he's doing now. It looks like he's not going for this tackle freeing plan because you needed the extra extra squares in here to like do things around. Yep, he's already blocked. Right, so it's the mighty blow blitzer then. Effectively. Yep. So that's 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 removed the possibility of that being a scoring threat. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know how he's getting this. I mean, they, that's the only one left is the mighty blow blitzer. Animosity makes the animosity. Where's he going? I don't know. This is a six plus catch for the blitzer. So he's passing it to this guy. No, but this guy's blocked. And the the tackler waiting for on the ball. On the ball. I don't the think tackler. It, it's the tackler and he's going to move here to stop it. Oh, no. Because it's... The big one. The big one. The big one can 2D blitz his way through. Yeah. Like a oh. beast. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, no, no. no. Oh, dear. Oh. And that's just oh, trapped the, the tackle. That's out. trapped the mighty blow as well. If Wherever you powered. go there, that's trapped the mighty blow. Yeah. Oh, man. If he'd powered, that would have been amazing. So, Diamond is now out of rerolls. With now no scoring threat. Stop this guy. No. That's it. That is it, yeah. Wow. That's it. That's the turnover, baby. The last turns of our grand final. And it seems that we do indeed have ourselves a victor. Wow. I can't believe... Could we start this like, two, like last weekend? And here we are right here at the precipice of crowning our, our champion. But the last turns to play out here. Incredible stuff. Incredible scenes. And Strider, a, a very worthy champion as well. Oh, 100%, yeah. He's, he's been at the very top of the tabletop for a long while. Just wow. won the Super League uh, thing on Fumble with, like, Lizard Men, this kind of format. So, yeah, top, top player. Top, I mean, I, 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 a top, top final. A best of three there. That <laughs> was like, whoa! <laughs> I, 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 we're back! I we're might back. have just jumped a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I mean, a, a top final as well, the best of three. We knew we were in for a treat there with Diamond versus Strider, and it didn't disappoint. You know, two overtimes. Uh, both teams pushed to their limits, Andy, and uh, I, 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 either player would have been a worthy winner, but Strider goes on and is, is victorious, the season finals champion. It's absolutely incredible. I, I was wondering if DMED, just because he consistently found these such beautiful plays, was going to do it, but actually it was won by Strider with that chain push for the Croxagore. Uh, that, that was a genius play, and I loved it. Oh, that was great. So, yeah, finally changed his strategy, right? To score, to punch it in quickly, paid off for him. I know. Jimmy's always right. <laughs> <laughs> o overstatement of the year. Um, I think. You know, I think interestingly as well, we talked about fatigue being a big factor here. We've got to. I mean, all of our players. You know, huge props to all of them for taking the time to to, to grind out you know games over the course of the last two weekends. But when you look at a player like Strider, who has started today, I, I, you know, this afternoon, seven hours ago. Plus, yeah. that, yeah, is, yeah. that is an, an almighty, and we saw that, you know, there, there might have been a misclick at one stage, but at the same time, you have to kind of, props where it's due for that kind of end play there, managing to score and solidify at least a, a, another score on the board to make it 2-1 there. The fact that he kept going it, it was incredible. I, I admire his mental energy. Really good, really good. They were both fantastic, really worthy finalists. Um, but, you know, congratulations to Strider. Commiserations to Diamed. Yeah, it was great to see them both making great plays, you know, like Strider of the first few games didn't really have the opportunity to, but then he did in the later ones, and you know, after the fourth game and he made that great chain, that was a really great play. It was, it was a great pressure. Well, I mean, we're going to take a look at the standings in a second here as well, here, just to kind of recap the whole of our uh, season's finals, which began last weekend, way back when. And uh, I can't believe that it's going to be, we, we, here we are. And we've we re we reached Mecca, the, the top. Uh, let's take a look at this first and foremost for you at home here, so you can see exactly how the brackets uh, stand right now. This is your final winner's bracket. You can see there how it began.
and how it ended. And Diamed uh, Strider there, 2-1 in the final. But just to get a recap very quickly across the course of this competition, it's just a bit of a roundup we've got here as well here. Andy, um, we've seen some fantastic games, some fabulous moments at the course of this. And uh, we must say a huge amount of love to all the players who took it apart and, and put on such a great show for us. Absolutely. Every, everyone was fantastic. There's a lot of people who are also behind the scenes, which I don't think chat saw, you know, rescheduling games, just sorting out stuff so we could play games on stream. So thank you very much to all 16, 15 other players uh, because they, they did a fantastic job. Yeah, yeah, great effort to, you know, to organization was was there, the, the, the players were there and it was just a great, a great, uh, just a great Blood Bowl event. It certainly was here. Let's take a look at the lower bracket as well and catch you up to what happened there too. Uh, you can see exactly what happened today, actually, in the, la the last two days. We had our uh, lower bracket round fours. We had our five, which is the Naron versus Cal Troop. Then Cal Troop went against Strider. Our first, it feels like a million years ago now. That was at 1-0 uh, where Strider uh, beat out Cal Troop. And again, we, we, we championed Cal Troop early for a, a phenomenal run as well here, having to kind of go through the, the lower brackets and take on some serious players along the way as well, Andy. Yeah, absolutely. I mean... Uh I know we've pulled out a couple of names like Christopher Elliott and, and people else in the, the lower bracket, but actually everybody deserved to be there um, because they've won through multiple different phases to get here. There's there's no bad players in that, right? But there isn't. There was no one who was who was bad. There's just people more well known and maybe slightly less well known. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and just fantastic from Strider particularly, right? The only game that he lost was the winner's bracket final versus Diamed, and he avenged the loss in the in the final best of three. Great stuff. He avenged yeah. the loss. That's what there was, there was, the revenge story was on, and it happened. It, it, it paid off. It paid off. Um, and hopefully you guys as well, of course, you've been here throughout the course of this. We see so many familiar names that keep popping up in the chat there. Thank you for being here last weekend, this weekend too, because um, you've kept us going. We said about the kind of the, the length of today and yesterday, eight hours, whatever it has been, and you guys have been a massive part of keeping us Kind of like going yeah. as well. This has been so fun to watch. Um, and uh, we'll have a look at the final standings here as well. They should pop up on screen for you. You can see exactly how it all panned out here. There they are. Uh, our, seventh, our seventh and eighth through uh, first position there. Um, talk me through kind of the, some of the players here. It's a bit, a bit of a shout out for the players here. Uh, Andy, uh, players you want to shout out that you've been particularly impressed with or think have done wonderfully this weekend. So one of the individual best plays that I, I really liked, I'm not sure I should have gone for it, was Crystal Hunter with his uh, play against, I think it was the humans, where he chain pushed the Rattog that was lying down two squares to try and surf something. And then the damn thing didn't actually stand up and activate on a, on a blitz and his team got crunched. But yeah, I loved, I loved watching Crystal Hunter play because he finds some really interesting uh, uh, um, uh, different ways of playing the game. Um, and for me, my other one that sort of stands out uh, is Call Troop just with his box of crazy, right? They're, they're, they are, they're my <laughs> two, crazy like, backs. yeah, they're, they're great. Uh, but that gives J Jimmy something to talk about as well. Like, nice. Strider and Diamond, I'll just pick the best. <laughs> oh, there we go. <laughs> and it was it was great. Like you know, Diamond kept kept making amazing turns. Strider made some amazing plays. You know, but more consistent. But then he had the upper hand, so he he had it smoother. You know, he he had to keep even keel, which he did. And then and then he mixed up when he had to as well. So that was really really great. I thought the final. Yeah, Strider as well being you know, such a prolific figure in tabletop as well. I mean, just goes to show that you know, kind of yeah, yeah. Blood Bowl as a whole dominating right now. That was a fantastic performance. We can't we can't say we can't say enough about this person. I mean Strider's done an unbelievable job here. Um to be champion and walking away with two thousand dollars as well. Oh he's gonna be miserable like that, isn't oh, he? Oh rubbish. <laughs> Absolute yeah. rubbish. Remember Strider, I I know you, remember. <laughs> I, I know, know you. you. Yeah. Okay. yeah, I don't know what You're else to round say. You're round times a thousand at this point. Um, but uh, yeah, because all those players you saw there as well on the standings all walk away with at least some cash prize too, which is which is amazing. But I think everyone will be kind of walking away as well that rewarded for kind of like the, we talked about the production loads and the team that put such a massive, unbelievable amount of effort into this from Nacon, Cyanide, to everyone in the production team uh, as they QSD here too. We, we've, we've loved work, Jimmy. They've been, I think we've, we can agree this has been a, a production, a family affair here for sure it's been incredible yeah unbelievable amazing experience so grateful for the opportunity let me ask yeah. you about you two as well i was gonna say andy um the course of the year for you i want to talk about you guys personally for a second here too because we, we've heard we've heard from andy and jimmy tons of course the last two days but let's talk about you guys for a second here um the rest of the year andy talk me through what's planned for you what have you got coming what are you excited to do now you've seen a bit of a road back from nacon too uh what's uh what's on the cards for you personally my friend so i'm still going to carry on the streaming which i do um, five nights a week so it's pretty pretty comprehensive streaming but i'll be attending a lot of tabletop tournaments uh the big ones that stand out for me are the naf championships um we'll have the euro bowl uh, which is in greece later in the year that's going to be incredible i'll be hosting my own tabletop tournament later in the year as well um details of that will come online in the next week or two so yeah going to blood bowl tournaments and then let's see what N nacon are actually going to put on for us because hopefully i can qualify for some more of them 
um, moving forward. So with that, one thing I wanted to say was thank you very much to ZQSD. They have done an absolutely phenomenal job behind the scenes, right? And I know this is what you're supposed to say, but genuinely, <laughs> right? Not, not, no, actually, you've done really well. Like, really, thank you very much indeed. Uh, the and Andy the, Davo seal of approval. Yeah, that, that actually, is a hard that was really thing to good. come by. Yeah, like, it's not like, oh, well done, well done. No, really, you've done, you've done an absolutely fantastic job. So thank, thank you very much indeed, guys. Well done. Thank you. Love this guy, uh, Jimmy. Jimmy, um, ask about yourself as well. What's what's planned? What's what's some what's what, what's what Jimmy fantastic? What's coming your way too? Well, I mean, so, similar to Andy, you know, going to keep up the streaming. I actually, you know, had a bit of a break with Blood Bowl three coming out, but now I'm ready, ready to commit fully to Blood Bowl three again. That's going to be great. And with these season uh, season season finals being a regular thing, right? Um, at the end of every season, the old playoffs are back, as well as other world championship. But the the, the playoffs are back. That's going to be great. Great to see that returning. So I'll be covering all those games as well, commentary wise. Yeah. And yeah, just looking forward to you know more Blood Bowl three. Definitely. And you guys, have been casting together as well. This is, I mean, we were talking this earlier on this afternoon. We had a, we have a bit of coffee together just to chat about you chit chat about the show coming up too. Um, fun as well, I guess as well to always kind of have you know, cast with you know, new teams and stuff together. I mean, I've had I've had a I've had a blast here. I think you guys as well have had a, a lot of fun with us along the way too. It's been really good fun. I think the chit chats, but um, casting the action in the finals. How have you enjoyed being like here in this environment as well oh, here? That's been absolutely fantastic. I, when it when it very first uh, happened a, a few months ago, Viatok said that he was going to do something like this, uh, and I remember talking to him, thinking, hey, "Why don't we just just let us do it before? Like, let, let us do it. We were doing the CCL finals. Yeah, Ch chat. Which of you preferred the CCL yeah, standard final cast, or has this really elevated it for you? What what do you think? Because I think it's been amazing. Right, I, proven wrong. Uh, uh, Jimmy, talk us through as well casting. What's this been like for you as an experience? I mean, unbelievable experience. You know, like it, it's one thing casting. You know, like the normal playoffs. You know, I've done that for ages. But this kind of thing, completely amazing. Absolutely, you know, next level, isn't it? The, the whole studio and stuff, the people behind the scenes. It ju it's just great. It's great. I've loved it. I've loved every minute of the whole thing. So yeah, absolutely fantastic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to get uh, into position because uh, I've got some I've got some some interesting exciting news for us all as well here um so here we can exclusively say that we actually have right now as far as I know I hope this works and the almighty champion of champions our season final champion uh Strider is here right now it's Strider everybody I can't <laughs> believe it. this is amazing I love 2024 uh Strider congratulations <laughs> on the victory uh I mean first and foremost how are you feeling uh, after the win uh, totally exhausted. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you, you. I mean, you start. You had a. You had a quite a long day. I mean, it's been it's been seven or eight hours. How have you managed to keep yourself going and keep your energy levels up? I mean, for me, it was fine, right? It was more my wife who had to watch the kids all day, and <laughs> <laughs> so my breaks were making dinner, cleaning up, and <laughs> look, so look. it was quite tough. <laughs> with with the pro, I mean, with the prize money, you can take take them out for a nice dinner now. I mean, it's totally worth it, right? Yeah, I hope. I hope um, <laughs> not all of it will be gone after soothing it. <laughs> so, so, no, talk it, us, it was great. Talk us through the actual competition itself as well. Um, how have you enjoyed taking part in it? And we must ask you at the final as well. Um, you and Diamed went toe to toe. It was very touch and go. Um, how, how is it being you know, in your position and, and kind of having to go through that best of three against a top, top player? Yeah, I mean, it was great to make it to the final best of three after losing against Diamond yesterday. Um, and the first game, you know, he started, I put on some pressure and, and it was enough. And then the second game was a bit unfortunate. I had this misclick, which made the position a bit easier for him and gave it away. And then at the end, I tilted and didn't even re-roll the double skull with the Croxy Gore for some reason. It was quite exhausting too, um, to be honest. Uh, I've never been exhausted playing Blood Bowl and I've played a <laughs> lot of Blood Bowl, <laughs> including like 24-hour tournaments, which, you know, nine games in a row. But this was really intense and... But it was great, yeah, great experience. And then the last game, I mean, all the games, right? It was, it was open till the very end, mostly. So yeah, that's that's the good games, right? That's what you like when you know until almost the last turn, any team can win, right? Yeah.
Well, you've, you've been an, an unbelievable uh, yeah, competitor in this competition. Um, before we let you go, because you definitely deserve some rest. I can see that you, you need to relax after a very busy couple of weekends. Uh, is there anything you'd like to say to the community as well here before we say goodbye to you? Um, yeah, I mean, it was great. Thanks for organizing. Um, after the start, which was a bit rough with the communication, and when the games were actually going to be played, it was then very well uh, done and, and very well planned and I think a, a great event. So thanks a lot. Uh, also the casting, what I caught was, was great with, with Jimmy and Andy doing a great job and you, you know, making it entertaining. I'm looking forward to watching the stream this week sometime and see <laughs> what I could have done better, right? You've never finished learning. Um, but yeah, at the moment I'm very happy and uh, just to confirm, we definitely did not pay him to say that. He said that off his own back. That's just that's just Strider being Strider, being a wonderfully wholesome person. So thank you. Uh, massive uh, thank you and uh, congratulations again here for being such a brilliant champion. Well done. It's been so fun to watch you uh, compete and uh, enjoy enjoy the prize money. Enjoy being the season's final champion. Uh, Strider, you're a legend. We love you and uh, get some rest. We'll see you soon. All right. Thank you. Bye-bye. Take care, buddy. Uh, Andy, Jimmy. What a guy! That was amazing. You can yeah. you can see tired and, and got, has been yeah. through, been through the ringer, but comes out the other side as season's final champion. Yeah, absolutely. He, he's he's fantastic. I've I've met him playing at tabletop a few times. Uh, he, he's a really really nice guy. Uh, got to last speak to him at the World Cup, uh, and I just sat and talked to him for a good ten or fifteen minutes at one point. He he's really nice, uh, very competent, and also very humble about how good he is. He, he never sort of you know, talks himself up. He is he's a fantastic player. And that's the first time I've got to sit and watch him play in so much detail. He's brilliant. Yeah, he was he was absolutely fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> and that's that's the Jimmy seal of approval. If you're fantastic, that that that's great in our eyes. Um, it was great talking to Strider. Congratulations there again. And uh, again, you can hear it as well from our competitors. Navigating the schedule over the last two weekends, huge kudos to everyone involved. Thank you so much for being so brilliant and so supportive to us as well, trying to make this kind of a bigger, better thing here in the studio, and we've had a great time doing so. Uh, I guess it's time to kind of say a bit of a, bit of a goodbye, really. A bit of a goodbye. Yeah. Uh, we've had fun, haven't we, lads? Andy, um, we've had a good time. Absolutely. I mean, I can't believe how many things that chat have found to, uh, to have a little bit of fun about <laughs> in the space of what is 48 hours. Usually at your expense. <laughs> But it's been it's been it's been great fun. It's all of tongue tongue in cheek. Very very yeah. It's yeah, been it's so been much fun. fun. It's been, thank you for inv inviting me in as well. I'm inviting Phil for part of the family now as well. Uh, Jimmy as well. What's been your kind of like yeah? yeah what are you gonna take away from this from this experience? Oh, it was just it was just glorious. A glorious, glorious. A glorious weekend and uh, yeah, the whole thing. I just think it's great the commitment from Nacon, you know, to Blood Bowl. I think that's the best thing for the Blood Bowl community. You know, it, it, we're going places. We've got the tournament circuit on the way. The World Championships. Just it's just brilliant. There is a lot to look forward to. Um, thank you all so much for being here uh, these last two weekends. We've had such a ball here. Uh, huge shout out to the production team, of course, as well as a QSD, Cyanide, of course, Nacon. Lots of exciting things announced earlier on in the show and lots to look forward to roadmap-wise, competitively for Blood Bowl, looking forward as well. Um, thanks for being here for season's finals. We've had an amazing time. Strider, a worthy champion. And we can't wait to see you again. From myself, from Andy, from Jimmy, thank you for being here. We look forward to seeing you very soon. Good Bye for now. Take care. And we'll see you out there very, very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.